All right, guys. I apologize if there is a problem in the sound. Be uh, surprised, all of you. I hope my voice is coming. All right. Uh, yeah, sometimes my uh, the audio mixer sometimes it turn off by itself. It have like a system to uh, save uh, to save electricity. So anyway, uh, welcome everybody, and uh, may the Lord bless you all. I'm back from my trip, and as I said in the video previous video, I was in Texas, and I did a very nice seminar in two churches actually. One is an American, and one is a Pakistani. Both churches they were wonderful and very very loving people. Uh, and in the American uh, church, people were astonished. And actually, even after I finished the seminar, we stayed for like five hours and everybody is asking me questions. It was English and every one of them said to me, you are coming back here for sure. You cannot escape this place. So it was wonderful and uh, it's kind of tiring to travel and uh, in the airport and air airplane and uh, wrong reservation, but it's worth it. Today, our topic is about the mathematic or mathematical uh, miracles in the Quran, which the Muslims they claim that they have in their book. So I'm going to start right away, but let me please, if you don't mind, post in Facebook and um, wherever you can. I'm posting right now. So we can get as many as we can from everybody not necessarily christians even muslims because we want to show the muslims the purpose of what we do here is to show everybody the truth it doesn't matter really who you are it doesn't matter what you believe you are a christian you're an atheist you are a buddha you are a hindu or you are a muslim it doesn't matter everybody need to know the truth and the lord our lord our savior said search for the truth and the truth will set you free and for me personally he is the truth and he is the one who set me free so please invite your friends and let us join together this study and see if really the muslims are telling the truth about what they claim we're not going to waste time so we we'll start right away with the topic uh, <clears throat> You see, sadly, I wish I can play for you the Muslim videos. You know what I mean? Because if I play for you the Muslim videos, I can show you from their mouth how they they expose their own. Uh, the same one who say something is the same one who say the opposite. But because I know they always they will file and they will complain against my video for copyright, blah 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 blah. You know, you know the garbage. So they challenge you to debate them. They don't call me they challenge you to answer them but they don't allow us to use their videos they challenge you but the challenge is empty now one of you he sent me many times speaking about the safe scientific miracle in the quran first of all if you have my two books i answer those in my books the deception of allah and quran and science they, they complete each other however it doesn't hurt to get the abdul lies busted again and you know it's a shame that you are a person who claim to be religious but yet to have no problem and no guilt to feel when you lie in order to promote a cult if your religion is a good religion if your religion is it coming from the true god so what is the need of lying to make us believe in what is supposedly the truth let us go together and see what the Muslim says about this issue. The miracle of number 19. And by the way, uh, we can cover all kinds of numbers, Muslims, they say to you before, because all of them, they are connected and all of them, they are not, nothing but a hocus. Let us read together what the Muslims, they say in their website. First of all, let me remind you, that the one who come with this miracle he was killed by muslims because in order to make it come to look like a miracle he have to cut verses from the quran 
and that for the Muslims was a red line. So he was he was killed in Arizona. I remember the guy who I debated with in ABN TV, the potato who ran away in the middle of the debate. This guy is the assistance of that guy. Who you know who created the miracle of number nineteen, and uh, uh, they came to his house and they killed him for that reason. So miracle number nineteen can cause you to get killed, my friend, by Muslims. <laughs> so it's not even even the Muslims. <laughs> You know, so how in the world? But you know that like what happened that the Muslims are people who copy paste. Nobody even want to think. Nobody. I don't want to say scratch your head before you talk. Scratch whatever you want, Abdul. If you have a head, use it. I'm not sure if you do have. So what is this miracle of number nineteen? Let us see together. As you see in the front of you, this is the website of Harun Yahya, who himself is now in jail for human trafficking and child rape. And in fact, he was in jail now. He's in jail. He's doing this for a long time and he thought it was okay in Turkey. But now because he is against Erdogan, so Erdogan, he put him in jail. So in the beginning, he was a hero. Now he is not. Hmm. Hypocrisy of the Muslims. So the miracle of number 19 in the Quran, let us read together. Another mathematical miracle in the Quran, it is, is the manner in which the number 19 is num number logical encoded in the verses the number is stressed in words of quran of the quran there are 19 charge of it so this is the muslim they are taking this that there's a verse in the quran it says there's 19s in charge of it and this is a additional uh, uh, proof that muhammad and the muslims are a bunch of liars because that verse chapter 74 verse number 30 is nothing but a lie of Muhammad. He claimed that Allah, he have a warehouse and he have 19 guard for it. Why you don't explain to us what this 19 in charge of it mean, according to Islam? Do you see what they do? They quote for you a verse, but they will not tell us, okay, who are they, those 19s? Those are 19 letters? Or they are 19 angels? Who they are in guard of it, they are the keepers. Let us go to Ibn Kathir, chapter 74, verse number 30. Please invite your friends. We have a barbecue for today. All right. <clears throat> Again, remember, we are going to use what they use. We are not going to uh, you know add additional things. Here we go. They quote for us chapter 74, verse number 30. So let us go and see. Chapter 74, verse number 30, what it's about. Tafsir Ibn Kathir, 74. <clears throat> All right. Is the 19 or 19 letters, or they are 19 housekeeper, or let us say... Uh, Warehouse keeper, sorry. Let us see. First of all, based on this chapter, by the way, this chapter is a very, again, a, a very racist chapter because in here it says that Allah, he have a rock, he will place you on it and he is going to make a fire on you until he make you totally black. So black again, you will be black. Allah will black you. He will burn your skin until you are black and then he take you to second step. So this is talking about hell. This is not talking about letters, have nothing to do with letters, have nothing to do with any numbers they are talking about except the numbers of the house or the warehouse of hell. And the Jews, they asked Muhammad how many there is as housekeeper or the warehouse keeper. The stupid Muhammad, he fell into the trap and he told them 19. Read with me carefully. So let him be uh, uh, cursed. How is uh, palted and once more let him be cursed how he palted and blah 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 and the la 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 okay blah 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 blah, 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 blah. all is just a stupid talk hmm? and then the, the the people they say to Muhammad you see the Muslim they say to us that this is amazing the Arab they were amazed by Muhammad Quran but the Quran says in the bashar the people they say to him that this is nothing but a human talk this is nothing but the word of a human being. The Arab did not say to him, this is amazing. 
why Muhammad he said to them let us see the number number 19 in the same chapter look what Muhammad he said he keep talking about how Allah will cook you how Allah will make you cooked he will barbecue you and he will make you black I will cast him into Saqqar what is Saqqar meaning I will engulf him from all his side so by what and do you know what is suffer look how stupid to talk even Arabic and what will make you know exactly what is sucker okay tell us what is sucker for for the for for God's sake this is give fright and emphasize to it is matter that in Allah explained by his saying do you know what is sucker no we do not know tell us please what is that hmm? sucker not does not leave anything meaning it's eat the flesh veins nerves and their skin then their organs they will be changed into something else that the, they will remain in this form not living or dying this was stated by etc etc and then he continued and that will be an example for a human being then he say at the end and over it there is 19 meaning the first guardian of hell this is not numbers guys do you see it the Jews they came to Muhammad they say to him who is God in hell who is God in hell he said 19 it is 19 angel not 19 letters the Muslims they try to figure out how we can make a miracle of this if you go just to, to give you more more uh, more reference this is the Jews here and this is Jamia at turmudi you know Jamia at turmudi the hadith the Jews they came to him and they said to him who is who is the, the keeper of hell who are they he said on in its doors is going to be 19 <laughs> this is have nothing to do with miracles read with me carefully You can read the whole, uh, you know, uh, uh, it's about torturing the punishment of those who don't believe in Allah, etc. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then they will call Allah, please help us. And their faces, uh, is, it melts their faces, you know, uh, blah, 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 blah. They will seek a drink, but I can drink, brother. And then they, some of them, they say, call the keepers of hell. So they will say, did, they are not come to you your messenger with clear sign they say yes they say then call us you like and the invocation of the disbelievers nothing but in vain and then they said they will say call malik they so they call o malik or malik let your lord make an end for us he said so his answer verily blah 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 and then he continue and then he speak about the uh, uh, let us see what is the number 19 here uh, is it in this hadith or a different one let us see let us see let us see um, yeah this one does not mention the hadith but this is about the the hell keeper but let me see the other one if if it mentioned that but already we show it to you uh, in the interpretation let us go to the interpretation of Ibn Abbas and Ajalalain in English too so we can give more confirmation for the meaning just to show you that what they say is absolutely false have nothing to do what the verse is speaking about we go at tafsir.com all right we are in tafsir.com we open the website We go to chapter 74. As you see, everything as Muslims believe, not as we believe. You know, when the Muslims they try to debate us about the Bible, they try to explain the Bible to us as they want. We don't do that. We got them busted from their own scholars and they're a prophet. So we go here. All right. There are 19 keepers standing over it 
angels it is keeper a certain disbeliever who might be etc read our rest so who are they those who are they they are 19 keepers who they are angels so why the Muslim they lie and this is says that this verse in the Quran is speaking about miracles of number 19 as we see here who is lying of you Muslims you're a prophet your Quran your Allah or you did we prove it or not yet did we prove that this verse have nothing to do what they claim the miracle of number 19 did we show it to you so the first statement in this article is absolute lie it has nothing to do with miracles have nothing to do with any numbers of letters it have to do with Muhammad claiming that the hell have 19 keepers who is going to make you black in the hell in the hell of Allah now somebody might say to me what do you get this black thing you know I can show it to you no problem here we go This is the interpretation. This is all the interpretation. It starts with every Kathir. And you know, funny, uh, when you when you read in English, you don't see the same. If we go to Ibn Kathir here, it's it is stop here. Let us let me go to the page, next page. Maybe we can get something because there is something missing here. You know, literally, there is something missing. Why we don't see the rest? Let us go to verse number 31. All right. Maybe maybe here we will find it in English because in Arabic it says different as usual nothing new I mean is it going to be surprising that Muslim they say something in Arabic and something in English you know no it will not be surprising I will not be surprised at all so here if we go in the Arabic this is the English I don't see really too much description of the 19 except that they are the the keeper of hell as we showed you down all the way in the end it doesn't say really much that on it there is 17 so there's 19 sorry as you see here as we go down over over it 19 the first of the guardian of hell but did not talk about making you black and etc you see here it says meaning burning the skin does it really mean burning the skin if we go in the arabic you will see the story is different here the quran this is tafsir ibn kathir in arabic and there's more tafsir in the same page this is islamic website uh it says how allah is going to do for you as a muslim or as a, as a non-muslim when you go in, in hell so allah he will place you in a very uh, 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 like soft rock and then he will cover you by fire from every side and he will burn you until you turn black read with me carefully for those who speak Arabic okay what Ibn Jarir he said uh, he said <clears throat> okay all right he said Continue until the Mujahid said, Aydil Jild, so the skin to the skin. And Abu Ruzayn said that it's going to, like the, the, the fire will lick the skin, you know, and it's going to bite him, the fire, until, until it make him blacken more than night. So your skin will be black more than the night itself. And as you see, this is in the front of you. Now, where we can find that in Ibn Kathir in English? I want to give you and I want to give you the link guys for Ibn Kathir in English. Can somebody show me where we can find that? How come it's not in, in Ibn Kathir in, in English? Why in Arabic it says something in English it doesn't say that? You know what I mean? If this is the Arabic, why we cannot find it in English? They took it off. Because I could not see it. If you see it, please let me know. So here they continue and they are saying on it there is 19 guardian for the hell. If we go here, we showed you this is Tafsir al Jalalain. Let us see Tafsir Ibn Abbas. Maybe al Jalalain is a stupid. Ibn Abbas is the cousin of the Prophet. He knew better. Okay. Above it, above the fire, are 19 angels. Do you see it, guys? Do you see it? 
<laughs> so why they lie and they say those are about numbers and they are about letters it is just about a story which is a fiction story because if God of Islam is God why he need 19 angels to keep the fire going do you know what I mean why he need do you see it says they are the the keepers of the fire is that a fireplace need somebody to put more wood I thought this is God the God of Islam, he cannot keep the fire going, so he need 19 to keep it going. So the first lie is gone. We got it busted. Let us go to the second lie. Here is the second lie. And it's amazing how stupid the one who made this lie. Let me get my tea, guys. I have my tea in the table. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, here, this is the chapter of Al-Fatiha. As you see here, they write for us, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the first verse in the Quran. And this is what they claim, that this verse, the letters of it, is 19. But just to show you how donkey is the one who come with this miracle, count with me how many letters we have here. They are 19, right? Okay. What is the first letter? Ba. The second letter, let me let me highlight so you guys can see what I'm what I'm what I'm highlighting. This is ba. First letter. The second letter is S sa. Let me type it for you. This is S. So the first letter is A. All right. The first letter is what? Is A. The second letter is what? Is S. But look what happened. If we go down a little bit in the same page, in what? In the same page, we will find that. The word bism became bism. Do you notice with me here? This word, let me highlight the word for you. Look with me with this word. This is the word. They make the S so long, you know. So to write it in the in the simple way, I will do this. This is how. They write it in the Quran today. So how many letters? Ba. And then S. And then M. So the total is what? The total is the three letters. But look what happened. In the second figure, they added a letter here. So Bism became... Be ism. <laughs> I will go down and I will show you what happened. Look with me. Do you see what happened? The different guys, do you see the different? Let me move the, the text a little bit. Um, okay. Do you see the difference between bism and bism here? Here in this word here we have additional letter here. In the previous verse which they count the 19 with, they took it off. They count it as b sa m bism which means there's no a here. So how come here we have A in the verse before we don't have A? It's the same verse. Are you listening? 
Look at the hypocrisy of the Muslims and look how they lie and how we get them busted. Here, they were trying to count for you words. So they mention, look, the words in these verses are 19. Did you see what it says here? The words in these verses are 19. So now they are talking about words. So this is how the word is written. As long they knew this is how the word is written, would mean here we have a letter is missing in the previous quotation. Why did it add it? Because simply they will say to you in the Quran today, this is how it's written, but this is not how it is. This is today the Muslim, they say, the Muslim themselves, they admit that we made the bism to pronounce bism for easier recitation. There's no in Arabic, there's no there's no word in Arabic is bism. It is bism, not bism. So what the Muslim here admit, two things, that they delete a letter when they calculate the number 19, and they agree that the Quran, Allah, he gave them the wrong word, which is not good for recitation, so they fix it, so they make it bism instead of bism, because bism does not fit with the singing. So imagine you want to say, uh, instead of saying bismillah so bismillah so bism you are squeezing yourself you know bism so they say to themselves it doesn't sound good so we have to make it bism so the muslim the liar they are counting the false counting of the quran this is how it is in the quran and they are the one who wrote it for us so it is bism not bism so here if we go up let me let me copy a snapshot here I will make a snapshot so we can place them together so you guys can see it. All right. I will go up just to show you what happened. Oh, you know what? Let me go to the Quran. Let me go to the Quran just to show you. Here we go. This is Bism. This is the one the Muslim they counted as. Do you see how it is? Do you see it? I will open the snapshot, which is coming to from the Quran, but in the original way, the way it should be. Look how it is. Do you see it? I'm trying to, to make you see both in the same time, but I don't know if I can do it. Let us see. Zoom out. And zoom in. All right. So do you see, guys, how it is? In the Quran today, it's written without this letter. Let us highlight the letter again. We have a letter here. Do you see it? Here, we don't have it. So now we found that there is a letter is missing. It is not bism, it is bism. And I am very thankful for the Muslims to write this for us because now the Muslim they will say to me, you do not know Arabic. It doesn't say like with Aleph. It doesn't say A. There's no A. Where's the A? It's in the same website who taught you the miracle of number 19. It's the same website. So there's a letter they did not count. If we go, there is a, there is a video. There's a video. Made by you know, Man Khan, you know that Man Khan, who beloved by the Muslims, he's the he's a macho man of, uh, he's he like to have dates. He you know he preach Allah and he date women. So, if if you go to Naaman Khan website, there is there uh, sorry videos, uh, there is a video. It's called what? Let me see. Yeah, go to this one. Speaking about how you can read words in two direction, in two direction, which means from left to right and from right uh, right to left. If you see here in the video of Nu'man Khan, he have something in the top of the letter is called Shadda. Here, do you see this this thing here? This is called Shadda. If you watch the exact same video, you will see the letter B. You see here, here, this is the letter is called B. B. What B? B, B, like B from B, like uh, 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 brown, B. So in the top of it, there is Shadda. By having Shadda, it means you have two letters here. Are you getting the point? By having Shadda, 
that's mean you don't have one letter you have two and the proof if I play the video you will see that he himself he write the letter B twice and he write it twice in two sides because here is the letter B again this is B and there is Shadda Shadda for those who do not know it's mean you extend the letter what happened that is a guy who came and he decided to fix the Arabic language so instead of writing the same letter twice, he said, let us put this sign and that will avoid us from writing the same letter twice. So here we have two letters should be written in the old Arabic language. So by adding that, we do not need to add it. We just extend the voice. So, warabaka. See now what I said? Warabaka. It's long. Why? Because there is two B. If you run the video, if you run the video, you will see how this, uh, this Abdul himself, who is fabricating science in the Quran, he himself, he will write the word and he will write the, 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 the letter B twice. Let me see. Here we go. It's coming. The disaster is coming. The disaster is coming. <laughs> the disaster is coming. Do you see it? It is B, B. Here, this is B. This is B, letter B, and this is letter B, and this is B, and this is B. So how we have two B, but in the real Quran is written today, we have one B. As you see here, this is B. It's one B. How it became to be, Nu'man Khan will say to you, he is stupid. Are you stupid or what? Here we have Shadda, which mean there is two letters. So now, actually, we have actually one of the videos of Nomad Khan could not find it where he speak about even Ar-Rahman, where the letter Ra have Shadda too. But look, now we have what? We have a disaster. Because now every time we see Shadda, we have to add two letters. And they cannot say to me, I'm lying. Here we go. You are making miracle from the same thing. You are saying that, look at this. There is two letters, brother. Ba, ba. Ba, ba. This is raw. Let me let me translate to you in English. This is raw. This is ba. And this is ba. Do you see it? The one have a line underneath of it is Ba. So we have two ba. And why we have two ba? Just because we have a shadda. Okay, let us apply that in the Quran. And let us laugh together what will happen to miracle number 19. Is gone. It became sh actually already we made it uh, sh gone because we discovered there is the letter A in the word bism is missing. So if we go here now, how many shadda guys you see in this in this verse? In this verse, do you see with me how many shadda? How many shadda? You, you, do you know what the shadda is? Let me zoom more. <laughs> Again, let us, let us highlight for you the Shadda. This is the Shadda, which Nu'man Khan himself, he approved to be that this is two letter here. So here we have the letter Ra. That's mean we have two Ra. Ra, not one. Here we have letter L. That's mean here we have two L, not one. Here we have letter Ra. That's mean with Shadda, as you see the Shadda here, you see the Shadda? That's mean we have two Ra again. So how many letters we missed in the count of 19? We missed one here, Bism. We missed one L here. We missed one Ra here. We missed one Ra here. So the total of missing counting is how many? One, let us highlight with different color. Hold on. We missed this one, Alif. We miss this L, we miss this Ra, and we miss this Ra. How many letters are missing? Now we have 23 letters. <laughs> Where is the miracle 19? Any Abdul? Brother? 
How come nobody in the video of uh, Umar Khan, nobody says to him, where you get to us the letter ba, ba, brother? Nobody asked him, nobody said, because it's a miracle, brother. It's a miracle. The Ra is compared twice, brother. He can read the backward, brother. But now, we show them from their own videos, nobody, the, uh, uh, Khan, what you did, brother, Abd Khan. So now, they miscount the numbers for us, and they fool themselves, and actually here there's a mistake in Arabic because who are you Muslims first? How are you to fix the word bism and make it bism? Who are you? Who gave you the right to change the word of Allah? The Muslim they say to us that Allah is God and we Muslims we keep the Quran as it is. But there is no Arabic word is called bism. That is stupid. It is bism. And I missed one one letter. Anyone notice which letter I missed, by the way? I missed one letter. Anyone notice? Anyone will remind me. There's one letter I did not count yet. I did not count, which means we'll make it 24 letters. Who want to help? Do you see this little thing here in the top of the word Ar Rahman? Do you see this thing here? Here, here, here. Do you see it? This is a short thing. This is Aleph too. There's no in Arabic a word Ar Rahman like this. This is just an artistic way. Even in the Quran today, it is there. They just make it short for artistic way. Do you see it? Do you see that thing? That short thing? This is Aleph A, letter A. So now how many letters we have? We have 24 letters in this verse, which Muslims claim it is 19. Do you see it, Abdul? So the miracle number 19 destroyed. And the rest is all connected with this. The rest of it is nothing but a lie. Now let me ask you Muslims. The one who will say to me, because I know some Muslims, they will say to me, uh, it is bism, not be ism. Okay, so why the Muslims, why you Muslims, in the same website you accept this, to be exist as you see why nobody says to the guy who made this article hey abdul where is you get this word from bism like this brother where do you get this from brother nobody complain it's the same article speaking about miracle number 19. nobody ask him why it's written like this why you have an elif <laughs> and now i will show you another lie you see we finished the miracle 19 it's done but with, with the letters now we will continue here because look how they lie too here they say there's 19 words in this what in this figure do you see what it says in the top read with me carefully so they claim that the first chapter in the quran first verse have contained 19 letters right okay we get this one busted we found that there's 24 letters we continue all right then they say the first Torah to be revealed, Surah 96, is, is in the 19th form, the end. Look what it says. The first verse of the Quran to be revealed are the first five verses of Surah 96. The total number of the words is 19. The total number of what? Guys, the total number of what? Did, did they say words? Words, right? Count. Now, I want you to I want you to use your intelligence when you are listening don't just be based your like in what I say I want you I know you don't speak Arabic but I'm explaining to you so now they are not talking about letters no more they are talking about 19 words that has come together they say this is a word this is the word three four five six seven i don't know if you can see my mouse 18 uh, uh, eight nine <clears throat> maybe i need to highlight okay 10 and here look 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 what happened do you see this letter here they did not count it did you see this letter here is not counted it's there right 
but they pass notice they pass okay just wait I'm not going to make any any comment until now but just remember this this one they pass okay so now 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and this one they counted as a word ma and look here what they did lam ya'lam it is two words how they became 19 brother <laughs> there is two words there lam ya'lam guys do you see in the in, in, you don't speak arabic i understand but do you see them they are divided do you see there's two things there lam do you see the lam lam ya'lam it is two words if you ask the muslims why you consider this one is two words they say because this one is separated by itself and it have two letters okay well this one is separated by itself and have two letters lam la and mean how you count it one word take a note so this is the first cheating so now we end with 20 words based in their calculation but hold on we are not done we are not done brother we are not done we are not, i wish we are done look at this down they say they explain to us something very important why they passed the number the letter wow he's they said as we have seen the first verse consists of 19 words and wa the one you remember here we said to you here they did not count you remember huh they did not count they explained why did not count he said it is a letter not a word it is a it is a letter not a word but ho, ho, okay let's go down let us go down <laughs> okay abdul uh as long wa is letter is not a word why allah he did not take it off i mean obviously it's addition it's breaking the number 19 theory because it doesn't matter what it is so, secondly secondly as long you consider men or men is a word you consider ma as a word wa should be considered as a word too here why because you are considering what is a tool tool to be a word why is a tool too in arabic we call it wow harf atif which means to con as a conjunction like in english it is same equal to end so how it became a letter here and as long it became a letter just because it's one letter how here two connected letters counted as word but here two connected letters who they are independent have nothing to do with the second word after it is not connected is not is not counted so here they deleted the letter the the the, the, the word lem lem in arabic it's mean la no not it is a word hypocrisy but here you notice with me the mistake they did they did not try to count the letters of those this verse because what is the point that this verse have 19 words but it does not have 19 letters and why the letter here be ism appear suddenly in this in this uh, in this uh, statement why because this is the original quran how it is it was be ism so we count it this way now if we continue down so now we we, we found that this is not 19 words at least at least based in their figure it is a 20 they did not count the word lem as we showed you here in the beginning lem now we continue surat an nasr the final surah to be revealed consists of the total of 19 words count with me please إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بربي بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا so the total of the words here are 19 in this chapter I'm not going to make a comment about this. We will go back to it later.
but but, but look with me what happened is a ja a nasrullah wal fatah is a ja a nasrullah wal fatah the first letter is a the second letter is the the third letter is a ja a and here the hamza so here they count the hamza as a letter did you notice do you see this one do you see this one this is a hamza take a note so any place we have a hamza it should be counted as a letter okay i want to do a little trick abdul if there's any abdul want to call me if there's any abdul want to call me please if there is any abdul if there is any abdul would like to call me please feel free all right just let me know and i will be happy uh, to take your call by the way already we destroy everything because everything is based in the chapter al-fatiha al al 19 which means because in order to collect all of those things together you have if you take the first one if the first strong is first one is wrong the rest is wrong it's over you know what i mean like we we, we are done actually but we are just showing you uh, we will make more clear study for this so here they count the the hamza as a letter that's wonderful i really like that i mean seriously who can hit such an explanation that Hamza is a you know it is it is counted as letter right <laughs> you know sometimes I say to myself who is the donkey here literally who is the donkey Abdul what's wrong with you why none of you, Abdul, say to those who made this article, you must be a donkey and you are maybe paid by a Christian prince to make this article. Because as long you are mentioning in the same count, the Hamza as a letter, and by the way, it's a letter. Hmm? Why you did not have it counted with the first word? Let's go to the Quran. <clears throat> Guys, I will go to the Quran. Remember, the, by the way, the Hamza here is where? Hold on, let me let me let me highlight for you. Where did they get the Hamza from? Where is the Hamza is, is coming from? They say to you, the Hamza is here. Here, you see the Hamza. This is Hamza. So this is why it is here. Okay, but the stupid Abdul who made this article, he forgot that there is a Hamza here too, and he took it in purpose. Actually, if you zoom in, let me go. If you zoom in, you will notice that there is a Photoshop for the word. Read. Do you see it? Let me let me zoom with the with the thing. There's a Photoshop. This is not how it is written. If we go to the Quran, and we will do this. <clears> hmm. <throat> <sighs> It's me you are looking for. Do you see it? Do you see the Hamza guys? For do not for those who do not know what the Hamza is, it's a letter. It it sounds like eh, eh, eh. so either either. So here we have the letter Alif, which means A. This is A. 
here this is Hamza here this is Hamza too so why they counted this Hamza but they don't count this Hamza <laughs> if we go back to their figure you will see the Hamza is counted as a letter well here there's Hamza and you will notice they did a Photoshop and they took off this letter let me zoom in if you look in their article you will see that they took off this did you ask yourself why is not appearing there No answer. I mean, why is it? Is is it Quran? You know what I mean. How you can take it off? Who are you to take it off? Either Jaa Nasrullahi wal Fatih. Okay. Any Abdul? Is in the bushes, brother, brother Tathar. How dare you? You are you are doing Photoshop to take off a letter just to make it look like it is as you say. We go right away to the article which the Muslim this you know they they, they made, and you will see right away that this letter disappear. Let us go to the article. Do you see it? Do you see it? Here. Let me zoom in. I will zoom in the letter itself, in the word, either. Do you see? Here, there is a letter, it's gone. Here. I will take a snapshot so we can compare between both. That's better, right? Okay. Snapshot Abdul. Alhamdulillah. Hold on. The religion of deception. Deception at day, deception at night, deception in everything they do. Where we go? Hold on. Uh, for some reason, I'm not able to take a snapshot. Mm, let me see why. Mm hmm. Give me a second. <clears throat> okay. Let us try again. I don't know what's happening. Each time I try, it goes out. Mm, okay, let us try again. <sighs> now it's working. Here we go. Finally. All right. So we took a snapshot for this and we will compare it next to the Quran. All right. This is the Quran. And this is the exact verse. It's Nasrullah wal Fatah. As you see it, let me see if we can have them both in the same time. Is it coming, guys? Is it clear? Do you see how the letter here is gone? Do you see here there's something? I will make an arrow. Hold on. I will make an arrow. 
do you see here this letter here they did Photoshop here is gone <laughs> Photoshop is good, brother. A brother and sister. We are a nation of Photoshop, brother. We learn the Photoshop so we can do Photoshop, so we can take a letter off, so we can make a miracle. You cannot do that with a Christian prince. Liars lie. The same verse, the same sentence. Do you see? We are not quoting from this is the Islamic website. This is not my website. This is your Quran. Every all of you Muslims go check it out. So as long you count the Hamza as a letter, and it is a letter. Why you did not count it? And why you took it off from the print you have in the website? <laughs> Ooh, unbelievable. I feel like converting to Islam, brother Sitter. Brother Sitter. Brother Sitter. There is the person, his name is the Christian Prince. And the Christian Prince, he try always to insult the Quran. A brother, if you go to the Quran, it's a miracle. As an example, I am Dakir Naik. The first letter in my name is Dakir. The last letter in my name is Naik. And by the way, my last name in Arabic is a very dirty word. Thank you very much. Do you know what Naik in Arabic mean? I don't want to say. It's the F word. Who's next? Should we continue with the with the with the false fiction of the Quran? The lies they say to us about mir mathematical miracles? We can continue. Let me see. I want to go to a different website. I'm done with this one. You know, let us see if we can find something different. Hmm. Yeah, this is a different website. Simple facts, brother. Simple what? Simple fact. Verse number one, brother, have contained 19 letters. We got this one busted. Quran says consist of 114. 19 uh, x6 <laughs> the total number of verses in the Quran is a chapter is 6346 uh, hold on hold on hold on hold on this is a big fat lie this is a big fat lie why because first of all nobody knows how many verses are in the Quran because even the hadith confirmed that there is many verses was eight eaten by the goat if we go to the Quran to the hadith Didn't we count at least what you Muslims say? If you Muslims agree that there is verses which is been eaten by a goat, the verse of a stoning and of a breastfeeding adult ten times. I wish this verse. I mean, I hate this goat. Why did not eat it? That will make us make a movie about it. Breastfeeding for adult. The only religion who allowed the breastfeeding for adult is Islam. Take my take. It. I'm not the one saying that. It's in front of you. Uh, if this is was exist, trust me, all every perverted man will convert to Islam. Actually, uh, uh, Aisha she used to ask her sister to be her secretary, and anyone want to enter upon Aisha, she have to give him breastfeeding for ten times. If this is the case, I'm going to visit Muhammad every day. I mean Aisha. Mm, Christian Prince, what are you doing? Oh, I have to see the prophet wife. And before we do that, we have to suck the nipples of her sister, brother. Amazing. Beautiful reason, beautiful. But look, this is not the topic. When the messenger died, we were... Uh -huh, what happened? What, what happened? What, what, what? When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death. That's very clear. I mean, he would be preoccupied. Muhammad is dead now, so everybody is busy. And a tamp sheep came and ate it. Eat what? Wait, 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 wait. Eat what exactly? Brother, they ate the Quran. 
read with me carefully the verse of stoning and of a breastfeeding an adult ten times was revealed and the paper was with me under my pillow but remember this is the same bed of Muhammad too when the messenger of Allah died we were preoccupied with his death and a tam sheep came and ate it mm, yummy. Mm. but hold on how the goat was able to eat the Quran which under the pillow which is under the head of Muhammad because Muhammad is dead in the same bed of Aisha this is what the hadith says that they bury Muhammad in the same in the same location of the bed because a prophet he should be buried where he's we die this is what they claim this is what Muhammad told them so Muhammad is over the bed his head is over the pillow how the goat was able to eat the Quran in order to do that that's mean the goat jump in the bed flip Muhammad mm, meh, meh, and you flip him from the from the bed and you flip the pillow and you start eating the Quran a Quran eaten by a goat and they say to Allah they say to Allah to, uh, to us Allah protect the Quran brother should we count those verses which is missing from the Quran? What are you are counting? Where you get the number six thousand? Blah 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 blah. You should count those verses. According to Umar Khattab, there is a, a, a thousand thousand and a twenty-five thousand letter in the Quran, which means more than a million. Where is the Quran today? The Quran today is not even twenty percent of what Omar he said. What letters? They are counting letters. What letters? Let me open my Skype in case there's any Abdul wanna call. Only Abdul, guys. I don't want any Christian to call me, please. Abdul's come first. I like Abdul, sorry. I don't like you. All of you together. You know? There's a Abdul. I was in uh, I was in uh, in uh, in, uh, in Texas and uh, you know, uh, it's a long trip. Uh, I did the seminars. I did blah blah blah. blah. Like, I mean, I've spoken to churches. And this Abdul, he texts me like 3 a.m. in the morning. Are you ready to debate? <laughs> when we open our Skype and we say who want to call us, they don't call. Here we go. What is the Abdul who keeps saying, Are you ready to debate? I will be in in a second. I am in Abdul. Who wanna call me? Let me call this guy who keeps saying to me he wanna debate me. No, he don't answer. No, he don't answer. Even he left me a voice message. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> if there is any Muslim have the courage and the knowledge, please feel free to call me. I am here for it. It's now. It's time. It's time you Muslim stand and say the truth. All your calculation is a joke. The Quran protection is a joke. Even a, your God could not even stop a goat. This is not a. Are you? Don't tell me this is a Jewish goat. Ah, maybe this is a Jewish goat. He stole it from the Jew. I will not be surprised. And look, guys, look what the Quran says. Look what he says. These verses, brother, were abrogated in recitation, but not a ruling. Other hadith established the number of uh, four stretch to to be five. What? 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 What, what, what? What do you mean recitation? Aisha, she said that they are written and the goat ate them. How you say they were abrogated? If they are abrogated in recitation, how, how you say they are abrogated in recitation? Why you want to abrogate them in recitation? Because simply they cannot, they don't have it. 
is as long you're still stoning women to death what is the need to abrogate the recitation the, the, the verse is not important obviously it's very important for you so why you want to abrogate the recitation what is the benefit of this stupidity to cover the ass of the goat who stole the Quran and ate it and by the way until now this goat is missing and it is wanted there's there's a 1.4 billion Muslim they are chasing this goat and until now you know they're trying to get those verses back so if we continue in what Muslims they say let us continue the Bismillah occur 114 time. What? 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 Bismillah occur 114 time. You see, anyone have the web the website where they they count for us word by word how they are repeated? If somebody have it, if somebody have it, because I need to find that, because I want to show you in front of your eyes that all the count they have is a lie. But I want to find it in Arabic first, so they will not say you are counting the wrong number. Let me hold on. Let, let me let me search. Give me a second. If you don't like our uh, our our channel, don't forget to unsubscribe. And if you like it, don't forget to subscribe. However, you can subscribe and unsubscribe, because Allah He said He uh, He wiped the bad deeds by the good deeds. What a stupid religion! I will rape a woman in the morning. And then I will make a donation at night, and that supposedly will wipe my bad deeds. All right. Let me see. <clears throat> we will see if we can find. Okay. Um. I'm trying to find that website. <clears throat> If somebody find it please help me if you find that website the one is speaking about you know like they say that the word life appear let me let me do this the word life here see it's going to be better Okay, let us see which one, which one, which one. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> A brother, numerical miracle in the Quran. Miracle, brother, numerical miracle in the Quran. <laughs> Let us see if this is a true or not. An easy test will discover if this is a true or it's just additional lie. The word day in the Quran is counted 365 times. Hold on, hold on. Before I go count, I'm not going to count yet. Are you saying to me, you Muslims, that your God is an idiot? And this is why he chose the lunar calendar. You can't see? Oh, hold on, hold on. I made my mistake. He's like, guys, the, the goat wasn't in front of me. I mean, what I can do? Imagine yourself, you are an Arab guy and you have a computer. Can you imagine how many goats in the front of you? You know, yesterday we were driving and I have a two back standing guy. I am an Arab and the police car in the road. I said, oh, oh, if they stop us right now, they will accuse of us conspiracy. An Arab guy and two back standing. And we look like scary, literally scary. I said, I hope they will not stop us. Right away, they will call the FBI, the CIA. I mean, Allah knows best, brother. So when the when the Muslims they say that the word they appear in the Quran 365 times, yet Allah in the Quran, he chose the lunar calendar. Are you Muslims confirming to us that your God is an idiot? He chose the wrong, the wrong calendar? Hmm? Now let us go to the Quran and see if the word day appeared 365 brother. I will shave my uh my the, I, will, I don't I don't want to shave my beard. I want to shave the beard of Dakar Naik if it's not true. Dakar Naik is working for years. He's making plastic surgery to grow a beard. It's not growing. 
Hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, it's beautiful to be a Muslim brother. It's beautiful. Alhamdulillah. All right. We will write the word they in English first. Did they say that the word they appear 360 times? Okay. I will switch to Yusuf Ali. I will search all the words. And then I will so I will search the exact word, which means like any word. Here we go. Be my witness. The word they. 569 times. Uh oh. What? Okay, hold on, hold on. By the way, I will do it in Arabic. You are, I'm not done. I will do it in Arabic too because they might say to you, it's not in English, it's in Arabic. But I will show you in Arabic, in English, in any language you want. Exact phrase. 518 times. Uh-oh. Okay, let me go and switch to Arabic. The word Arabic, the word day for, for in Arabic is yawm. Exact phrase search. Oh, this is Yusuf Ali. Let's switch to Arabic. Sorry, 211 time. Let us search any word 415 time. It's not happening. This is not happening. What is the 365 day? Muslims, why? Who is the liar here? Where is the word day, which is a 365 time? If any of you can find me the link where it says the word in Arabic, because I found it before, a website where they are showing the word in Arabic. So to show the Muslims, this is what they meant, yom, not just the word day, exact word. Let us continue in the beautiful article, brother. <clears throat> the word days, the word days occur. <clears throat> sorry, excuse guys. Uh, the word they occur thirty times. The word days occur thirty times. Really? Okay. Days. We will say days. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. This is the word days. Twenty-eight time. Any word. Exact phrase. Twenty time. Why you are lying? This is the word. We will make it any word again. Why they say that thirty? I mean, this is a search engine. It's not taken aside. It's not uh, you know. It's not like an atheist or anything. It is a search engine, as you see in the front of your eyes. Until now, not even one claim come to be true. Continue, brother. Uh, the word what? The word they appear. All the the derivative of word they appear four hundred seventy five times. What does that mean? Hold on, hold on. He said that the word they appear three hundred sixty five times. The number of the days and the earth 360 times. Now he says that words which is diver diverted from the word day appear 375 times. What do you mean? How that can be diverted? And why didn't show us in Arabic what they mean? This is why I want, if any of you can find me the Arabic website, guys. Hold on, I need to have to find the Arabic website just to get them busted but better. We will we will get them always we get them busted no matter what we are reading but it's better if we can find uh, <clears throat> yes.
Let's try and see here. <clears throat> I'm trying to find the website. Just give me a second, because I saw an article before where they where they quote for us the word in Arabic exactly as it is, so no mistakes can happen, and they cannot say it, it doesn't say it doesn't mean that. Um, no, no, I don't want a dictionary. I want, I want the website. We are talking the same the same article, but they are quoting the Arabic words, the same exact article, but they are quoting the Arabic words. You know what I mean? Here they are just using English, pure English. We want the Arabic. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm searching. Give me a second. Okay, okay. You see, here even better. I found something. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you Muslims, you are the best helper for me. I I don't know how much I can thank you. Really, truly, truly, I don't know how much I can thank you, brother. So, guys, so the Muslim they cannot say. We did not say that, All right? So look. They say the word yom. This is the word yom. This is what I search. The word yom appeared 365 times. Let, let me do it again. Let me, let me go back from zero. Did, did they say yom? Yom, right? Yom. Here we go. This is yom. It's okay. It's okay. We found something. Thank you for offering to help. <clears throat> I will type the word yom. So we are right. It is yom. In Arabic. That's why I wanted to use the exactly what they say in Arabic so they will not say oh maybe he meant different word or something see it is 211 time if you search for it exact phrase if we search any word 415 if we search all the words it's going to be appeared 415 because it's the same so none of the numbers they said they said if you search for the word yom remember if we search for the word yom is going to appear 365 times not this one let us go to the link where is the link here we go yom let me zoom in so we search for the word yom anyone who speak arabic he can do it right now and you will find that this is a big fat lie then the word ayam, ayam, and yo man together are repeated 30 times. Ah, ayam and yo, yo man. <laughs> okay, so you guys, we missed the word yo, yo man, but but ayam is not the same as a, a, yo man. I mean, why why you are counting them together? <laughs> And why did not count yom with ayam? If the same, it's, it's the same. It's mean words. It's mean days. It's up to you to, to to like here we join this with this, but we don't join this. Anyway, let us do this. Ayam, ayam, and yoman together are repeated thirty times. Okay, let us see. Yoman, yoman. I could not even find it once. Where is the word your man? Maybe your main? Okay. It's three time, brother. Brother, it's not two time. You see it? I put the word your main. It's three time, brother. Here we go. This is the word you are looking for. Chapter 2, verse number 203. And here the same word chapter 41 verse number 9 and this is 
the same word chapter 41 verse 12 so why are you are lying brother brother if we go to ayam so remember your main appear three times okay if we go to ayam <coughs> Is 28 the total is 31 so now we have a problem it did not work with their calculation here they claim that it appeared 30 times ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. okay the word shahar so until now not even a single one is correct the word month which is the word shahar according to them repeated it 12 time first of all the word shahar you, you eat it abdul in the in the arabic today it's mean month but this is not a word mean moth. This is mean moon. This is why in the Quran it says, whoever of you witness Shahru Ramadan. You cannot witness. You, you, who, whoever I cited Shahru Ramadan. How you can cite a Shahr? How you can cite a month? I mean, you cannot cite it. So whoever cite the, the, the Shahr, he have to fast. So shahar is not a word mean moth. It is a word mean moon. And this is taken from the Aramaic. And it's used actually even in the Hebrew. Now if we go in the Quran, let us see. The word shahar appear in the Quran 12 times. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. <clears throat> I have a surprise for them regarding this one. Shahar, this is the word shahar. It appears 17 times, brother. Let us make it the exact phrase. Exact phrase, it is two verse. How it became 12. Who is the Abdul wanna show me the word shahar appeared 12 times in the Quran? Who wanna call me now? Who is the Abdul? He can call me and show me the word shahar appeared 12 times in the Quran, brother. Where we can find the word shahar appear 12 times, brother? Hello? I mean, there's a huge difference between twice and 12. If we search any word, any word, which means nothing left behind, it is 17. Where is the word 12? Until now, a zero claim is accurate. Hello? <clears throat> Hello, Christian Prince. Hey, my friend, how are you? Uh, good evening. Well, I'm in England, so <laughs> I must say I've been enjoying your, your uh, talks. I've been listening for quite some time. I'm a Christian, so. That's one it's, it's teaching me a lot about uh, Islam because I came well I, I didn't come from a Muslim family but my mother was Muslim okay but uh, she got married to my father who was just a church goer but by the grace of God I have been born again I'm even, I'm even a pastor so it's actually teaching me deep insight into Islam because where I work most of them are Muslims. And they keep asking me questions. So I've been learning from you to try and tell them. Father, is a particular guy is from Pakistan. He, he he doesn't know whether to leave Islam or not. But uh, see, I still I'm still working on him. I don't know. Well, my friend, uh, when my friend, I'm, I'm really break, my, so. my friend. I'm really thankful for you calling me. But let yes. me finish. Let me finish this topic. So okay. we left nothing behind. As you see, until now, we could not find one thing is a truthful in this statement about the miracles. Mm. We, we want to finish it all. This is an execution day for the lies about the mathematics of the Quran. So let me oh, finish. Yes. And later, if you are done, you can call me. Feel free, please, if you don't mind. Okay. So how, so can I be listening on as you are on now? I am on right now. You can, you can listen in the YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, my friend. Okay. All right. Uh, maybe he do not know that we are we are on air. Uh, <clears throat> there is many people they are texting me in Skype saying to me how we can 
listen to you. Look like maybe they see my videos in different places. They don't know where. So as you see, not a single claim is coming to be accurate. The number of reputation of the word plant and tree is the same 26. Guys, do you notice here with me something fishy? Why why did not say to us what is the word in Arabic? So we can go and search it. What the word plant? So should we search in English? Okay, I'm going to search in English. I would do that wish. So the word plant and tree is the same, 26. Okay. I will search first in Arabic. I will search for a tree. Shajara. It appears 16 times. What is the word? Okay, let us do the exact, Brother Abdul. It is six verses. Six time, so where is where is what? Okay, well, I don't know. Let us switch to English. I will I will search in English, my friend. Maybe in maybe in English will appear tree. Here we go. Switch to English, please. It appeared twenty time in nineteen verse. What they said in their in their uh, how many? Twenty six time. The word plant and tree, or maybe, maybe we have to gather them together. So maybe plant and the tree. Okay. So the word, the word, let us, let us call, uh, call it. The word tree appear in English 20 times. All right. So now we have to search for the word plant. I will copy the word exactly as it is in English. Here he said 26. Okay. And I will tell you why he did not mention the Arabic word here. It appear three times. That will make the total 23. Make it all the words. Appear 20 times. That will make it 28 times. This is English. Let us go to his article. It says 26. Right? The reason he did not mention the Arabic word because if we search for the word Arabic in Arabic, the word tree, we will find that his numbers is hocus. And this is why, in this case, he did not mention the word in Arabic, he mentioned it only in English. Go to Arabic, and this is the word, it's 16 times. If we search the word plant, in Arabic, Nabat. Appear, a living time. So you know the, the, the point the Muslim they try to, to, to do to you, and this by the way, this is any word, because any word sometimes it can be even uh, like uh, not correct. But let us see exact word. It appear five times, because we have to go by exact word. But in any word, exact word still is not happening, still is not working, still it's false. Everything they say to you about those miracles is an absolute joke. The word payment <clears throat> appear 117 times. Let us take it. Okay, I will I will try the English. 117 times. Payment. I mean, what we can do? We have to and we'll search it in English too in Arabic. Here we go. The word payment appeared three times. Exact phrase. Any word. Five times. How three times and five times became 117 times? Any uh, Abdul can explain to us? How the word, which appeared five times, or seven time became 117. Any Muslim have an idea? I mean, there's a huge difference between seven time and 117 time.
What, what is the word payment? Let me change the translator, man. Maybe Yusuf Ali, he, he liked to say, he, he, he hate to make payments, so he delete those tr in the translation. Shakir. Five time in Shakir. It's getting even more ugly. Big tal, brother. Nine time in Big tal. It's getting better. Mohsin Khan. Six time in Mohsin Khan. <laughs> Okay, Sahih. A twenty-eight time in Sahih. That's even the best. Uh, okay, Abdul. So how now we will fix it between all the translation, which none of them get even close to you. In the article, you said one hundred seventeen time. Do you see it? The word payment and the word reward repeated one hundred seventeen time. Look at this. The word forgiveness. Maghfura. I will search for the word maghfura. I like it when they write the word in Arabic because that make it easier for us to get them busted. Maghfura. Let me zoom in so you guys you can see what the word in Arabic is. See, they are writing it for us in English. <clears throat> so we will know exactly what they are talking about. Maghfura. Okay, I will go to the Quran and I will search for the word maghfura. Please, Allah, please make it happen. Please, Allah, please make it happen. Maghfura. <clears throat> at least once, I mean, at least one time, they calculate something is not a lie. Until now, after one hour talking about the, the, the miracle of the Quran, which is mathematic miracle, not even one is true. Okay. Maghfura. I cannot see my keyboard. Where is the... <clears throat> we need the light to be on. Somebody jump here. We go to Arabic. Maghfura. Any word. Hello? Hello? I could not find the word Maghfura. Maghfur, maybe? Let us see Maghfur. <laughs> uh, Abdul? Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Maybe I read it wrong. What is that? Well, it says here forgiveness. So, I mean, what I know that if we search for Ghafara, we should find Ghafara. Where is the Maghfura? We found, we found the word Ghafara, which means forgive. What Maghfura? Do we have any Abdul when I call us and tell us what those Muslims Abdul are talking about? Anyone? We cannot find the word Maghfura. Hello? Hello? Any Muslim can tell Maghfira? Maghfira. Maghfira. Ah, Maghfira. Man, it's Maghfira, Maghfira, hold on, Maghfira, hold on. Let us try Maghfira. Maghfira, 28 time, any word. What, how much it says in the article? What, what? Hold on. The word Maghfira, which one of the basic moral of Quran, exactly, repeated exactly twice, that amount 234 what does that mean the word payment and reward is repeated 117 time what the expression of forgiveness maghfira which is one of the basic moral in quran repeated exactly twice that amount amount 234 uh, so they hit maghfira x117 is that what they are doing <laughs> Okay, okay. So the word Maghfira repeated it twice, brother? And then we hit it by, okay, but the word Maghfira, brother, repeated it 28 times, my friend. What twice? Let us see the exact, exact verse. Hmm. 17 times. Do you see it, Abdul? 
Abdul, who is here, is a liar. How they are saying it's repeated twice. Let me show you the word maghfira. This is maghfira. This is one, chapter two, verse number six, two six eight. All right. This is maghfira. This is two, chapter three, verse number one thirty three. This is maghfira. Abdul, chapter three, verse one thirty six. This is maghfira. Abdul, chapter five, verse number nine. This is Maghfira Abdul chapter 8 verse number 74 This is Maghfira Abdul chapter 11 verse number 11 Not twice No, it says there. Hold on. Hold on Hold on if you go in the article what it says It says exactly twice. Come on my friend. It says repeated exactly twice Which is one of the basic moral of the Quran is repeated exactly twice. I'm not wrong they are claiming that the word maghfira repeated it twice. Is that correct, guys? Am I reading correct? This is what it says in front of me. They are claiming that this word is repeated exactly twice. The word, the word we are talking about, which means forgiveness, is repeated it twice, correct? Isn't it what it says? Twice of 117? No, 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 hold on, hold on. No, read. I, I, I listen, listen, you guys. Don't don't be uh, uh, slow. The word payment is and uh, or reward is repeated one hundred seventeen times. Leave it. Why? Why he continue? Why the expression forgiveness, which is maghfira, which one of the most basic moral of the Quran is repeated exactly twice. That amount thirty two thirty four. Okay, if if you are saying, okay, 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 we will go with you. So he is saying here that the if uh, 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 based what we understand uh, according to some of you saying he meant this that it is going to be twice number of one seventeen, correct? The word maghfira. Okay, well here we go. Type. Let us do. Okay, we are searching. <clears throat> How many times it's appear here? Where is the two hundred thirty four time? It's seventeen time. Do you see it? If this is what he meant, then where is the 213? You know, let us search any words. 28 time. So we try both, like the way I understood it in the beginning and the way you understood it. I will assume that you guys you have a better understanding of English from my my English. So if he meant that it's 234 time repeated. Well, it's just 28. And as you see, I'm not searching like in the in the in a favorable search. I search exact phrase and I search any any word or you know 17 time exact phrase, any word, 28 time. So where is the 234? I mean, we are talking about a huge difference. We are it's not about like what how how, how much is missing. How much is missing from 200 Abdul in the article here? It says that it is 234 in the search. Hmm? It is 28 time any word. How much is missing in the lie? I mean, how big is the error? 234 brother minus 28. That's mean the error or the fabrication is 206 time. Do we have any Abdul? Isn't it amazing that until now we could not find one claim is correct? Not even one? I mean, at least say something is true. Not even one. Let us continue, brother. When the count... <clears throat> Uh, and then when we count the word say we find appear 332 time okay i will i will i will copy the word say as it is search in english then we will search in arabic say in arabic is qul how much 332 332 let me zoom in a little bit 
so you guys can see the numbers exactly you see it the word say you can do it from your side when we count the word say we find it appear 332 let us go and count the word say first we search in Arabic as long as we have it in Arabic already said call to the word say call and we search any word It is 618 time. How many? 618. Let us go to exact phrase. 217. Sorry, 270. How much he said in the article? Two, 332. So neither number is working. There's a huge difference between 332 and 270. Until now. Nothing is working. Zero. Lie number two, or three, four, five, whatever. Uh, we arrived at the same figure when we count the phrase, they said. They said. They said. <laughs> they said. <laughs> the, the same figure. Let us go and see. Exact phrase, the same figure they said. It is 79 time, Abdul. There's a huge difference between 332 and 79. So are you saying to me, you Muslims, you lie when you translate? So in Arabic it says 334 time. They said, but in the translation, you make it only 79. Let us change the translator, brother. Remember, Yusuf Ali, 79. Shakir, 84 time. Biktal, 75 time. Muhsin, 87. Sahih International, 89. So what happened? Are you a Muslim? Are you saying to me, you Muslims are a bunch of liars? That Allah, he says, they say it, and you take it off from the translation? Where we can find the 332 time repeated. Who is lying to who? Guys, should we continue in this madness? I mean, isn't it enough? Until now, what we, what we found is, did we find anything to be accurate from all the statement they said? Nothing. Let me show you here. Okay. The word faith, iman. I like it when they write it in, like in, in in Arabic, but like in in Latin letters. So you can iman uh, without genitive is repeated twenty five times. Okay, let me see. Maybe this one. Maybe let us hope that this one will work. Iman. I will type the word iman. Iman. <clears throat> iman. All right. We type it exact phrase. Not even found. Any word. Oh, sorry. No, it should should be found actually in Arabic. Three verses. Three verses. He said without any addition. Three verses. But in the here he says the word appeared twenty five times. Did I search any word? Any word, Iman, 76 verse or 76 time. In the article, he said it appeared 25 times. So if we make it exactly as he claimed, it does not, not even come close to the number he said. If we take it any word, it's far away from the word, from the count he claimed. So until now, they have zero. Kofar, Kofar. Uh, Throughout the Quran and also the word infidelity, kufr, appear 25 times. Let us see if it's true. I will type the word kufr or kafara. Three hundred ten times. Exact word. Nineteen times. In the article. Twenty-five times. 
So both are far away from the truth. Not a single count is truthful. The word paradise and hell repeated 77 times. That would be good, actually, both of them, actually. That, I like that. The word paradise and the word hell repeated 77 times. Me, that's a miracle. The word paradise and the word hell repeated 77 times. Okay, I will go to the Quran. I will type the word hell. And then the word paradise. Jahannam. Appear how many? 72 time. He said 77, right? Okay, I will make it any word. Maybe that will make it 77. Finally, one of the words come to be true. Finally, at least finally, we got one number to be accurate. Jahannam appear in the Quran 77. Party, party, party. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Allah. Finally, one. But hold on. But this is a 50%. Let's see the other one. This is Jahannam. So they said Jahannam is what? Is 77 times. What about the other one? Paradise. All right. Okay. Let's go to paradise. Is it going to be 77? Oh, Lord have mercy. Jannah, 76. Oh, boy. Almost there. I mean, almost. Abdul, I mean, this is any word, which means nothing left. You see, I'm searching any word. In Jahannam, we search any word, too. We got 77. When we search any word for Jannah, almost, almost, so close. I mean, almost in his eye. <laughs> But we can fix it. I mean, we can add, like, you know, we can uh, say it is 77. I mean, come on, we are making a mathematic miracle. <laughs> even this one. I mean, even this one. I mean, come on. Muslims, at least make it one, like, make one of them work. Just one. Let us continue. Guys, are we going to spend the night doing this? Okay. Uh, the word zakah repeated 32 times. And the word baraka, which means a blessing, repeated 32 times. Let's see. Let's see, guys. Maybe they will make it finally. I mean, okay, the word zaka. Oh, Lord have mercy. I like it. You know, Islam is the best religion, brother. What I can say? Eh, hold on, hold on. 32 times. What it says in the article? What says in the article? It's true. The word zakat appear 32 times, brother. Hold on. Look like finally they will make, the, the, maybe now they will make a progress. Maybe finally we will find something truthful. So the word zakat appear 32. The word baraka, does it appear 32 too? But hold on. This is any word. What about the exact? It appear only two. So what is the any word? Let us read together. Let us see. Let, let us go. Let us go. Let us go. So 32. Let us let us take a 32. And now we will go to the word baraka. Baraka. Okay. Uh oh. What? What what? But hold on, didn't he say Baraka? Yeah. I cannot find it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I cannot find it. There's nothing. Okay, let us let us try this. I will try to copy the English. Blessing and search instead of searching for Arabic, I will search in English. Okay, 24 time. Let us type the word. Let us uh, let us click at the at the uh, at the Arabic to see what the word baraka is talking about. Where is the word baraka? This is Rahma. 
this is not word baraka none of those is word baraka so where, where did this get the number from where he got the water from any Muslim can call me who is the Abdul wanna call me and show me the word baraka in the Quran 32 times anyone Where is the Muslims who speak about the miracles in the Quran? I mean, why you don't call me? It's a lie. Not a single statement is accurate. We, we, we cannot find it. Where, where, is, where is the word? Abdul, who is the one who want to do it for us? Hello. Hello. Who is a Muslim when I call me? Be careful here, there's a trap. Any Abdul? Abdul, do you know, do you think that Allah, he, he know how to write Arabic? What do you think? Do you Muslims know how to write Arabic? Who is a Muslim when I call me and tell us what's happening? Where is the word Baraka, the one they are talking about? Anyone? That's bad. That's bad and that's sad. Hello? Where is the Muslims? So you, you Muslims, do you do you agree, Muslims, that all those articles are nothing but a hocus? It's a lie. The expression "the righteous" al abrar used six times. The wicked al fujar used half as much as I e three times. So what does that mean? I mean, guys, what is the miracle in that, brother? The word. Let us say. Let us assume that is true, brother. The expression of righteous, al abrar used six times. The word fujar, which means the bad one, the wicked, is three times. Okay, what is the miracle there? <laughs> so if it is half the half the number of uh, the wicked are half, that's a miracle, brother. Let us see if this is true anyway. So I'm going to see al abrar At least maybe we can find it at least once to be accurate. Let us see if this one will happen. Let us see, let us see. Al Abrar. Okay. Oh. Mm. Abrar. I will make it any word. Arabic. Six verses, brother, appear in six verses. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right. Okay. And we make it exactly. Not even one, but we will make it any one. That's better. So in the article, they said how many times, brother? They said six times. And then he said, the word fujar is three times. But until now, I do not know what is the miracle. I mean, what the, what the, what, what this, what is the connection? Abrar is six times, fujar is a three time. Hmm. Fujar, brother. Hmm. Three time okay what is the miracle here this is the only number is accurate this is the only number in the whole article is but where, where is the where is the where is the miracle wicked six time sorry wicked three time and righteous is a three uh, a six time so
Any Muslim can tell us where is the miracle in this? But remember, the Quran speak about other people who they, there is many words about uh, uh, like Fujjal, which is wicked. As an example, Ashrar. What about Ashrar? We don't count it, brother. Oh, I can't. I, I wrote the word wrong. Hold on, brother. Here we go, Ashrar, which is the same mean the wicked. So what we would do with this word now? Who is the Muslim when I call me and find me one solid mathematic miracle? Why you Muslims are lying to us? Why you are lying to yourself? Shall we continue? The number of appearance of the word minds and light is the same, 49. The word light appear 49 and the word mind appear 49. It's a miracle. Let us see if this is true. But you notice here, guys, I don't know if you notice with me. Sometimes they did not mention the Arabic word. Did, I, did you ask yourself why? To make it like, you know, they don't want to get themselves busted. Okay, we go and search it. Why you don't put the Arabic word? But, you know, I'm going to go and search for the word light first, which appear 49 times. The word light is nur. Noor. Noor. Hold on. All right. It's 36 time, my friend. What is the 40 time? As you see, I'm searching any word, which means nothing left. Who is the Muslim when I tell me why they are lying? Where is the 49 time? If we search exact phrase, the word noor appear only five. If we search any, it's 36. I don't know who won. I'm not watching the news. I hope that Democrats will lose. But, you know, they spend a lot of money, so they might win. Money talk, my friend. All TV stations yesterday, they're just attacking Trump. Not a single one. The only one is not attacking him is Fox News. Uh, celebrity, actors, you know, they have an army against him. So, we don't know. Also, but they might win if those Republicans they are lazy, relaxing because they won last time. This is usually what happened. You know, the one who win in the previous uh, election, he lose in the second election because they relax. You know, they totally relax. But we will see. Uh, <clears throat> I hope they will not. Now, where is the Muslim who want to show us the miracles, my friend? Who is the one who want to call us and tell us what's happening? Any Abdul? So it's a lie. Everything we heard, it's a lie. Totally lie. I'm reading you, Muslim your articles about mathematic miracles in the Quran and until now I could not find one thing is a truthful by the way I'm so glad that uh, Nu'man Khan he knew how to count because I want to show him a miracle here brother uh. Brother, the word six in the Quran, six days, appear, brother, uh, <clears throat> seven times, brother. The Quran confirm, it says, let me show you the translation. Yusuf Ali, chapter seven, verse number 54. Your guardian, Lord is Allah, who created the heaven and the earth in six days. Guys, how many days? Somebody tell me, please. Take a note, how many days the Quran says the earth is created? Everything in the earth and the heaven. This is not only the earth alone. Everything in the earth and the heaven is how many days? How many? Six days. My brother, Prophet Muhammad needs spanking. He's an idiot. He do not know how to count. Look what Muhammad said. Prophet Muhammad. Really, 
you you are embarrassing embarrassment you are embarrassment for us brother okay let us see what your prophet he said <clears throat> Okay. Um, what is the hadith? I'm not going to search. Uh, hold on, hold. Let me search differently. Okay. This is the same. Actually, you know. Let us see here. Uh, no, not this one. Hold on. Where is the hadith? Yeah, but I wanna. I want the one from Sahih Muslim. The Prophet. He knew mathematics very good, very good, unbelievable. I love it when the Prophet speak mathematics, brother. Abdul, the Quran says that Allah He created everything in earth and in heaven in six days. Okay, let us read together, Abdul, brother. Look like you Muslims are smart, but your prophet is not. The prophet said, <clears throat> Abu Huraira reported that Allah Messenger, Allah pray on him and salute him, brother, took hold in my hands. This is serious. When Muhammad he hold the hand of a man, this is not nothing about anything. Don't 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 think about it wrong. He is being serious. And he said, Allah the exalted, the glorious created the clay on Saturday. This is day number one. Are we following? Saturday. And he created the mountains in Sunday. This is the day number two, brother. No? Let us switch to Arabic, to English. Two. Let us change the color of the letter. Okay. So, Sunday is the second day. Okay, and he created the trees in Monday. This is the tree. And he created the things in titling labor in Tuesday. That is four. And he created the light in Wednesday. That is five. And he created the animals and spread it on Thursday. So Wednesday, he created the light. Okay. This is six, brother. And he created Adam on Friday. <laughs> this is seven. <laughs> it's a miracle. The Quran says Allah finished everything in six days and he went to heaven because he's done. Muhammad, he claimed that he created everything in seven days. This is a very scientific miracle. Hello? Look like in Islam there is eight days. Allah, Allah he left to heaven in the eight days. Who is a Muslim want to answer that? Uh, who is a Muslim he have the courage to say he's a prophet is a idiot hmm? <clears throat> actually it doesn't say clean or in, in Arabic you see that's why I say that when you read in English it's, it's stupid it says in Arabic a turba which mean the sand the dust so he created the dust not the clay those are stupid translators what I can say you know Do you remember, guys, the dad was making fun of a Christian minister? He says, your God, he said he created the, the sun in Wednesday in the book of Genesis. And Zachary Naik, he copied him. But it's it obvious that the Quran is the true book of God. Otherwise, how you can explain to me that in the Old Testament, the God of the Christian, Said that he created the sun in one day. So we and the whole earth without without sun for all the time. That is impossible. But look, your prophet he said that too. 
in the Bible it says that the first thing God created was light so there is light Correct, guys if you go in the book of Genesis before we arrive to Wednesday it says so God he created light and he said be light and it was here there's no light at all so they are making fun of the Bible saying how God he say that I created the Sun in Wednesday because those are not scholars those are potatoes making money from the stupid Abdul they are making fun of their prophet if I was debating that it'd be that imagine how embarrassing to show him what his prophet said you know what I mean this is why they will not debate someone like me like now this guy with his name uh, hijab he want to debate uh, 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 you know uh, uh, David Wood they debate always only American who don't speak Arabic or somebody they knew maybe he speak Arabic but he, he do not know much did that he debated any Sharush the first debate he show up the second debate he run away Sharush he went to the debate and people hundreds of people waiting for the debate and the coward he did not show up Abdul's and by the way here what I like what I like what I like about this hadith do you know what uh, what uh, Allah Allah created Allah created Adam Friday afternoon <laughs> between afternoon and night do you know guys when what what Allah he said to to uh, what, what what Adam said to uh, uh, to Allah when he was uh, creating him based on the Muhammad story remember anyone remember when he was uh, created him afternoon and night the Quran says what does that mean if you go and see the interpretation according to Muhammad he said that Adam when Allah he created him oops I'm giving in English When Adam was creating him, Adam he said to Allah, he looked at him before he finished him. You know, he breathed into him, but he's not done yet. Adam he said to Allah, uh, finish me, finish me before the sunset. Chapter 17, verse number 11. <coughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Guys, question to the Abdul. How Adam he knew that the sun is going to set, he is not even created yet. And Abdul can tell me the story. Adam is saying to Allah, Finish me before the sun set. He is not even created. How he knew that the sun set? I mean, guys, Adam, because he's an Arab, Adam was an Arab, by the way. He's like me. We are Arab, we are very smart. Unbelievable. Everywhere I go, you know, by the way, we are the one who created electricity. As an example, Al Qazafi, President Al Qazafi, the president of Libya, he said, Do you know he was making a big speech in front of thousands of Africans? You know, he, he was paying money to Africa to make him to name him the king of the kings of Africa. You believe it? If he made them, they want money, poor people, you know. So he spent a lot of checks just to make them vote that he is the king of kings of Africa, this madman. So Al Qazafi said, Brothers, brothers, all of us, we know that we are the one who made the civilization of the Western. As an example, Shakespeare. Shakespeare is an Arab guy, and his real name is Sheikh Isbar. I mean, it makes sense. Shakespeare is Sheikh Isbar. Like, hello, isn't it obvious? Shake is per true, absolutely true. I'm not joking, this is what he said. Al Qazafi, he said that the word democracy they took it from us in Arabic, it's a word mean democracy, which means bring the chairs, <laughs> bring the chairs. I'm telling you, we are the Arab, we are the best. We are the best. 
Uh, brothers, do you know that Allah is the first one who created the GPS, brother? Who is a Muslim when I call me? Who is a Muslim when I call me? By the way, if you don't believe that this is what Adam he said to his God that finished me before the sunset, you can go and read the interpretation. Chapter 17, verse number 11. Interesting. We can find it in English too. We never know. <clears throat> Maybe we can go to Ibn Kathir. Maybe Ibn Kathir. If you have details, those guys they have no details here. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, where are you? Everybody waiting for you, your God and your prophet. He is in our barbecue. Ibn Kathir, where are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. Ibn Kathir, give me five. Okay, what kind of insan or ajula? Look, 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 the story here. Very touching, very touching. See, Muslims, there is a Muslim, he said to me in Skype, you are a liar. There is no such a story about Adam. Read with me carefully, brother. Brother, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. Hello, Ibn Kathir. How are you doing? Read with me, brother. <clears throat> and man is ever hasty. Salman the Pharisee and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached to his feet. <laughs> what an idiot, Adam. <laughs> is my grandfather, but what I can say, I mean, obviously, can't you wait? I mean, can't you wait? He's not, he, not, he did not install even the battery yet. When his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from the head downward. Hold on, hold on, Muslims. What do you mean from the head downward? If there's any Muslim here, explain to us. I mean, from the head where? From the head downward? Okay, let it go, let it go. When it reached, hold oh, but what? Guys, they just say that from the head downward, it says, and they are saying, which reach his brain. Do you think, guys, we have like a hole in the top of our head? Because it says, from the head downward. And then he said, when it reached his brain. <laughs> Abdul, Allah breathed into Adam where? His mouth, his nose. There's different location. Where, where he breathed into him? Hello? Hello? It's a barbecue time. Dr. Zakir Nayek, who is a here a Muslim when I explain to us this madness, brother? Anyway, let it go, let it go. When it reached his brain, he <laughs> had you. And uh, by the way, this is true. When Allah, he create anyone, the first thing he do, he sneeze. Hmm. And said, Alhamdulillah, what the heck? Adam. He just learned Arabic. And this is what I told you from the beginning. If you remember, when we start teaching Arabic, what we said, we should let us sneeze. You guys, you said to me, we are not, we don't have cold. I said, what's wrong with you? Don't you want to learn Arabic? At that time, none of you get it. And nobody laugh. You sneeze, you speak Arabic. Try it, try it. Let us start, uh, try it one by one. All of us, let us sneeze together. Ha, 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 chew. Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim. Amazing! I just spoke Arabic, guys. I just spoke Arabic. Alhamdulillah. If, 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 if. It's true. The miracle is happening. We sneeze. We speak Arabic. It's a direction like it's a miracle. And the poor me, I went to school, and my parents they send me to school, and I attend Arabic class. And all what we need to do is just to sneeze. Here we go. Adam, he did not go to school. His knees, he speak Arabic. 
I hope I did not teach you like a secret now because I don't want to because imagine if all of you tomorrow you get cold and you come back speaking Arabic to me that's very embarrassing anyway let it go let it go so he sneezed and he said alhamdulillah and look there's a translation I'm very thankful for the translation praise be to Allah the guy is ready I mean his program he sneezed he speak Arabic saying what in Arabic alhamdulillah which means praise be to Allah and then he said, and Allah said, look at this story. I mean, this is serious. Allah said, Allah said to him, may your Lord have mercy on you, Adam. What the heck? This is the first conversation between Adam and Allah. This is history is written. Adam, he sneezed. Allah, he said to him, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. I'm not sure how many of you feel like taking a shahada, you know, or to take a, take a hike. If you if you sneeze twice, twice obviously, you see, don't, don't remind me, guys. Don't say to me things you remind me of things. You know, the prophet he spoke about sneezing twice. Anyone knows? Anyone knows? Anyone remember? Anyone remember what I said? Somebody he said, "What if you sneeze? It's needed. It's needed twice." <laughs> Muhammad is a genius man Muhammad he said to his followers if someone sneeze say to him as Adam he said you know like uh, 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 so and then he they said to him what if he sneeze more than once he said well obviously he have a flu or like you know sorry he have a, he have cold <laughs> genius I mean genius unbelievable that's that's deep and that's knowledge how the prophet he knew if you sneeze more than once obviously you have cold you tell me at that time how people they knew about cold you have no answer um <clears throat> Let us see. Uh, oh, oh, uh, you remind me a story of a sneeze twice, to sneezing twice. Do you know that the prophet, may Allah bless him, he said that the whale in the ocean he sneezed only twice. Anyone knows that? How many of you know that? That the prophet said that the whale. Sneeze only twice a year. I mean, how the prophet he knew this? Who is here? He is. Uh, he have a PhD in the deep ocean creatures. Yeah, nobody. Okay, let me let me find the hate. Hold on. If I don't find the hate, the Muslim they will accuse me of being a liar. You know them. I show them the story, and still they call me. Uh, you are a liar. Okay, hold on. What we can do, we have to find it, otherwise, they will accuse us to be liars. All right, mm -hmm. here we go. Okay. You can read the whole story here, and then here he say, they translate the word whale as a fish here in the translation, but in Arabic it says hoot. It says, Al Amir al, al Amir al Mu'minin, by the one who is in his hand is my uh, myself, is it is only the sneeze of a fish which sneezes twice every year. <laughs> Unbelievable! Only in Islam they knew those knowledge. I mean, how they knew that, the brother? How they knew this? If this is not from God, the brother, how they knew that the fish sneeze twice a year? I would love to see a fish. I'm gonna uh, tomorrow. I'm going to go and buy a golden fish, and I will put a camera to record her 24 hours for the coming 12 months. So, so we can prove scientifically accurate, brother, that the fish sneezes twice a year. 
actually I'm going to make her have cold I will make the water cold you know and that will make her have cold right she'll always sneeze as soon as possible brother Islam is a I don't know I mean why people please, please show respect show respect let us continue the story of Adam how he sneeze because we did not finish the story yet guys are you enjoying your time who is here first time who is here with us first time nobody is here first time all of you are old customers I feel sorry for you if you are here first time because here we go you became addicted to here the second you came here once that's it tomorrow you will have a fight with your wife and you say to you what's wrong with you you stay in the computer for the, the last uh, five hours and you might get divorced because of me don't blame me disclaimer disclaimer blame Allah because Allah is the one who wrote your fate <laughs> unbelievable read with me better read with me so when when uh, prophet Adam brother by the way Adam is a prophet for who the guy he was alone there uh, and the other day I went in the airport and the guy next to me in the next bathroom he was talking to himself you think he was a prophet saying to himself okay well it happened obviously he was talking so loud I feel sorry for him but I mean it happened okay anyway brother so when the soul of Adam reached to his brain, he said, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. And Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. And here I want to ask the Muslims, why Adam did not ask, who is Adam? I mean, right away he said, like, okay. I mean, he just heard his name first time. Shouldn't he be surprised? Like, who is Adam? Let it go, let it go. So when it reached his eye, what hold, hold hold on, his soul reached his eyes. What? What what? What about the word sea and land? Okay, I will show you. Yeah, I will, I will go that. L remind me, please, about sea and land after I finish this. When it reached his eyes, brother, brother, the soul of a human being reached his eyes. Do you think we have soul in our eyes, brother? Who is a Muslim here? He agree that we have a soul in our eyes. Look like the soul is like electricity. What do you mean soul? He reached his eyes. Any Abdul? Hmm? Ah. <sighs> This is the reason I don't I don't date women. But what if a woman she loves me and she look at my eyes and then she said to me, I see your soul there. And this is scary. In your eyes. So my so my, uh, my soul reached to my eyes and reached to my hand and reached to my uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> what do you mean soul reached to his eyes? He opened them. Oops. So when the soul reaches into something, you open it, you move it. So when the soul of Adam reached to his uh, testicles, did he do something? <laughs> and then when it reached his body and limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder, like, what the heck? This is, what is this? And then Allah starts saying to him, this is feet, this is toes, this is fingers. Okay. Hmm. So Adam now, the poor Adam, his soul is moving around. Moving around from head to eyes to limp, you know. All movable stuff. You know, I'm not going to count for you how many they are because I'm shy. Then... Adam, when it reached his limbs, he started to stare at them in wonder and he wanted to get up before it reached his feet. Look at this idiot. How in the world you want to stand up and the soul did not reach your feet, Adam? Do we have any Abdul? I mean, what is the Abdul? And then 
but he could not which is very I mean this is scientifically accurate okay hold on soul did not reach your his feet so how is going to walk it's impossible so this is very scientific accurate okay like if your soul did not reach your ass you cannot fart so that, that, that's that's science logic if your soul did not reach your private part you cannot uh, uh, pee uh, if your soul uh, could not reach your feet you cannot walk I mean this is all is good this is a pure logic this is scientific logic brother and then but he could not he said oh Lord oh Lord make it happen man make it happen before the night come man <laughs> Make it happen, Adam. Saying to Allah, "Finish me, you idiot!" Before the sun set. That's too much. This is seriously too much. I can't believe it. Muslims, how Adam he knew that the sun is going to come? I mean, the night is going to come. This guy is not even finished yet. Hello. Hello, but you know, I think the reason we don't understand this because we have a lack of intellect and intelligence, not like a Muhammadan. According to a very well-known scientist from Japan, his name is Yama. I drink camel urine. Yama, he said that drinking camel urine is the reason for you to be a specially unique creature and to be a genius. And you can search his name. Is he a Japanese? Yama, I drink camel urine. Yama. There's other guy actually. The Muslim they use him to create science in the Quran. His name is Yama. I do lie. Yama. Do we have any Yama here? Who is here? His first name starts with Yama from the Muslims, brothers. Anyone from the Yama nation? Hello. Hello, hello. Hmm. Look, when I finish today <clears throat> and I hang up, you will see the Muslims posting for me in Skype and challenging me to answer them. I stay here for hours and hours and hours, and here we go. Not even one. What we will do now? Hmm? Any Muslim? So all the miracles Muslims they claim of is a lie. And I have a question for the Muslims. Why the Muslim did not, why Allah did not say to us, you will find the miracle of number 19 in the Quran, brother? <clears throat> hmm? Arabian prophet, are you? Gassan, Gassan, pig? This is a Muslim, he's calling me a pig. My friend, why you are calling me a pig? Isn't it, isn't it the Quran says pigs are Muslims? And they are, they believe in Allah? Let me show you. Let me show you, I'm not the one who's saying that. Hey, you are you are calling me a pig, but you forgot. Obviously, you do not know your religion, brother. Let me go, hmm. brother. According to your Quran, all animals are Muslims, with no exception. I challenge you to call me and to prove me wrong. وَمَا مِنْ دَابَةٍ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَلَا طَائِرٍ يَطِيرُ بِجَنَاحِيهِ إِلَّا أُمَمٌ أَمْثَالَكُمْ مَا فَرَّطْنَا فِي الْكِتَابِ مِنْ شَيْءٍ All of them, they have Quran, brother. <laughs> I would love to see the donkey reading the Quran. <laughs> Chapter 6, verse number 38. Which translation you like me to show you, Abdul? You name it, I show it. Which translation you like? What is your favorite one? Huh? No, the, with the Quran, you see, you have to share respect. Guys, look, look what this guy is saying. Look, look, you know, you have to be honest, Abdul. Abdul, you have to be honest. The Quran nowhere, nowhere says that what you are saying. You can show me what you are saying that, that the, the pigs are kuffar. Can you show me that? Guys, did you see what this guy, he said? 
He said pigs are a creation of Allah, but yeah, but they are filthy like kuffar. The Quran says they are Muslims and they believe in Allah. And I'm showing you the verse. All animals, all the creatures in Islam, they are Muslims and they believe in not only that, they have Quran. Chapter 6, verse number 38. Which translation you want? Muhsin Khan, brother. Here we go. There's not a moving living creature on earth. The guys, do pigs move? Brother, sisters, do the pigs move? They move, right? They move. Okay. So not even a single living, which means cockroaches, pigs, uh, insects, you name it. Huh? All of them, nor even birds, or the even flies, mosquitoes, etc. With its two wings. By the way, Allah, he knows only things fly with two wings. Only those are Muslims, the one who fly with two wings. <laughs> okay, but our community like you, we have neglected nothing of the book. By the way, it doesn't say we have. Ma Farratna is going back to the insects and the animals. They have a book. And then into their Lord, they will be gathered. Allah will take them in the judgment day and he will judge them. Allah will judge the animal because of what? Because they are Muslims. Can you explain to me? How you judge an animal in the judgment day? Because he have a Quran. So pigs, they have to be Muslims. Why you don't dare to call me? Why you do worship a human being? My friend, you are the one who worship a human being, not me. Hey, Christian, do you worship a human being? Anyone here worship a human being? Prove to me, prove to me that we worship a human being. You are a liar, but I can prove to you that you are the one who worship a human being. Isn't it your prophet? He said that Allah, he looked exactly like the false Messiah. And he is fat and short with curly hair, brother. That's what your prophet said. Call me. Call me right now. Get me busted. If you don't, if I don't show you the reference right now and make you read it, I will apologize from you. And I will jump from the window of my first floor. Jesus is a human according to uh, you see look at this guy guys look at this guy Jesus is a human according but doesn't mean we worship a human my friend Jesus before he was born who what he was in your Quran let me get you busted from the Quran guys shall we shall we get this Abdul busted hold on hold on let me let me let me get his text so to show you I'm here to teach you how to get the Abdul busted simply as simple as that I hope people are learning look what he said <clears throat> Jesus is a human according to Nicene Creed. You don't know your religion. <laughs> Nicene. Nicene. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah, Abdul, let me show you. Jesus, before he became a human, according to Quran, what he was. Obviously, you are the one who do not know your religion. Read with me, Abdul. Read with me. Laugh at your God. The more he stripped, the, the more he talked, the more he make poo poo. This is a chapter four, verse number one seventy one. Chapter what? Four, verse one seventy one. Chapter what? Four one seventy one. Chapter what? Yeah. Don't you know, guys, why I repeat repeating? Because most times this is how the only way to put things in their head. You have to repeat. They don't understand the Quran, but they memorize it. They don't even know Arabic. They memorize without knowing the Arabic language. <laughs> Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. I will be lame in the Zainal al Okay, what, 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 what does that mean? I don't know. I didn't speak Arabic. Bismillah al-Rahman al-Rahim. I will be lame in the Hold on, hold on. What that word mean? I don't know. I told you I don't speak Arabic. I just recite the Quran. Now, guys, read with me and laugh at this stupid Abdul who said that you worship a human. Oh, people of the book, commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah out but the truth. Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, was, you see here between two brackets, it's not on the Quran, a messenger of Allah. So he's what? Now he's a man. Okay. And he is his word. Okay. Hold Abdul. Jesus was the word of God before he became a man, or he was the word of God while he is a man in the same time. Who is the Muslim when I answer that? When Jesus was the word of God before he became a human, or if during the time he's a human?
who is a brave Muslim can answer such a small tiny question Jesus was the Word of God before he became a man or be after or during he is a man during the time he was a man Abdul are you scratching your uh, bum to answer what is the Abdul you said to me we worship a man the Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God hello look he played dead now he's not even texting he stopped moving his tail and he say he's talking about me now I will move my tail again when he stopped talking hello how your Quran says that Jesus is the Word of God before he was a man he was a word of God which bestowed on Mary do you see it you just prove that the Christians are right because the Christian they believe in chapter 1 verse number 1 in the book of John in the beginning it was the word and the word was with God and the word is the God I mean to that in the same chapter John 1 verse 14 it says and the word became a flesh I mean to that the Quran agree the stupid author of the Quran get himself busted he just agree with the Christians that Jesus is the Word of God who became a man and not only that look at this disaster and a spirit proceeding from him him who Allah oh boy the same stupid verse where it says so believe in Allah and his messenger and say no Trinity is the same verse who proved to us Trinity how you are saying to us a stupid Allah that don't believe in Trinity but you just say to us that Jesus is three but he's one aren't you the one who pre proved to us a Trinity here we go you mentioned to us a three person Jesus the man then the Word of God then the Spirit of God all of them are one how he looked like he looked like God my friend which nobody can see and live hello he's the Word of God he's the power he's God God he came to us in a flesh of a man isn't it your Quran says that Adam could not look at Allah because if you look at Allah he will be destroyed the same as the mountain which is something your prophet is starting from the Old Testament no we have one God you are the one who have two gods we won't show you the two gods guys let me show you the two gods of Islam you see the problem discover he don't care he don't dare to call because if you are saying that there are true two, two gods you just you just you just confirm to us that your Allah is God is a stupid how Allah is Jesus he is man and he is the word and he is a spirit at the same time are you saying to me you Muslim have a three Jesus Muslim Muslims are you saying to us you have a Muslim who's you have a Jesus who's a man and you have a Jesus who is the word and you have a Jesus as a spirit so you have a three Jesus are you three or one Abdul answer me hello Jesus the man Jesus the word Jesus the spirit are they three or one Abdul say three the word means message hold on hold on hold on guys look at this idiot look look at this idiot look just to show you how those Abdul they destroy their religion the word Jesus is the word he is the message so Allah he just said that Jesus is the message and the messenger in the same time <laughs> what the heck hold on hold on hold on brother the word means message spirit mean rooch rooch what, what rooch I thought this is like lipstick not three person idiot idiota idiota I like this idiota Abdul listen your God Allah Abdul he bestowed his word on Mary so Allah he sent his message to Mary <laughs> message <laughs> 
<laughs> Unbelievable. I love you. Who is a Muslim? You have the courage to call me. Who is a Muslim? You have the courage and the knowledge to call. Hmm. No, I thought he is speaking Arabic. <sighs> how Jesus he looked like? You see, just to show you how stupid what you are saying. Look what your prophet he said about how Jesus looked like before he was born. <clears throat> And you will see Muhammad here, he is copying in the Old Testament. Guys, do you see what it says here in front of us? Abu Huraira reported that Allah, the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. He created Adam in his image. By the way, here, Muhammad, he claimed that he created him 60 meter. <laughs> And the other hadith, 30 meter. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <clears throat> the prophet said, Allah created Adam in his image, his picture. And then he continues saying, 60 cubit, which means Allah is 60 cubit tall. Are you there, Abdul? Abdul, are you there? Hello? Is your God Allah a 30 meter tall? Is that your God saying that Allah created Adam in his image? By the way, he's copying from the Old Testament, right? God created Adam in his image. The, the, the thief Muhammad is copying something he stole from the Old Testament, but he add to it that he is 60 cubits. Are you there? Who is Abdul? He would like to call me. And then now we have just potatoes. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Not only that, Muhammad, he was worried that the Muslim they might think that the false Messiah he is Allah do you remember the hadith additional to that Muhammad he confirmed that Allah have five fingers he have a foot he have a shin he have an ass I mean you name it look what your prophet he said who is talking here your prophet my friend and this is Sahih Sahih brother Sahih he said the prophet said I have told you as so much about the Dajjal. Who is the Dajjal? For those who do not know, a Dajjal is just a name for the false Messiah, not the Antichrist. The translation here is false. False Messiah. So Muhammad claimed there's a guy he will come. He is Al Masihu Dajjal, not the Antichrist. Al Masihu Dajjal mean the, the, the Dajjal mean literally the liar. So Al Masihu the liar, which means the Messiah the liar, which means he is a false Messiah. He will come. And Muhammad is saying, read carefully with me, that I'm afraid that you may not understand that the Masih al Dajjal is short, hintod, uh, woolly haired, one eyed, and eye sightless, and neither protruding nor deep seated. He's describing him. If you are confused about him, know that your God, which means Allah, is not one eyed. If Allah is not a man, why you are going to be confused between him and the short guy who is the false messiah? Any Abdul can explain to us? What is the point of confusion? Confusion. Why you Muslims will be confused? How come he is describing the size of the ass, the hair, the eyes, The short person 
and he is afraid that you Muslims you will think he is Allah. This hadith is da'if, guys. Did he say da'if? Okay, let us bet me and you. If this hadith is not da'if, are you willing to do the for us the monkey dance? Are you willing to do that? If I prove to you that this is not da'if, are you willing to dance for us at least in the text? Can you? Okay, he agreed. I heard him saying, agree, I agree. Here we go. Brother, look what it says. It says, Sahih. Uh-oh. Yes, brother. It says, Sahih. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Sahih. I mean, I mean, this is really bad. It is Sahih. It is not Daif. Hello? It is Sahih. <laughs> Guys, does it say Sahih? Does it say they are Sahih? So who is the liar here? Uh, uh, Abu, Abu, you mentioned to me the number of what before? Let us go back to that uh, question you asked me. <clears throat> you said to me what uh, number of what? One of you asked me, I think it, it was you, about number of, I don't know, a miracle or something. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? He have the courage or the knowledge. Copy paste nation. The land and the sea. Okay, hold on. The land and the sea. <sighs> the land and the sea. Let us go and find the word land. Here, so we can see how many times they count it. Let us search for it. Land. Land. Okay, here we go. The word land appeared 13 times in the Quran. The word sea appeared 32 times. Is that true? Let us see. We go here. <clears throat> we go up. We type the word land. Oh boy, 446 <laughs> 446 times. How many times he said in the article it appeared? 13 times. I mean, it's almost, almost there. Fourteen, th thirteen time is is very close to the number four hundred forty six, my friend. Forty six time. Let us see the exact phrase. Five verses only, if we take it as exact. So what we will do now? Who is Abdul when I get us busted? <clears throat> My friend, <clears throat> let me let me show you. Do you remember when the Muslim they say that the uh, the earth and the sea, the, sorry, the the two seas don't merge, the two seas that the water is a salty water. Who remember? Let me let me let me look for the the, the miracle. Let us laugh just for a you know comedy comedy. It's a comedy. What we can do. <clears throat> I will search in English the article so we can show it in the screen. Two C's not mix. <laughs> the two C's don't mix. <laughs> okay, brother. A brother, this is the article, brother. This is the article. Okay. Myth, but uh, this is against Islam. Uh, this is. Uh, were to look like this is against Islam the article you know this is not, this this is sorry this is not what I want I want the uh, uh, article made by Muslim sorry uh, look like somebody is getting them busted by from the picture uh, but they don't mix uh, this is the to expose them I want a Muslim uh, Gulf of Alaska where 
If you want the Muslim website, where the Muslim website? Hold on. I mean, what would happen? Maybe I need to add next to it Quran miracle. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. This is a Muslim website, brother. Hey, brother. Who is a Muslim when I call us and talk about this, brother? That the two C's don't mix. And look, they have a graphic for you. They try to make it science. <laughs> he has set free the two C's meeting together. There is barrier between them. They don't don't uh, they don't they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't not trans transgress. <laughs> Here we go. Listen, if a Muslim Abdul he have the courage to call me and to prove to me that this is what the Quran is saying according to you that the two water of the two seas or let us say the water the salty water and the the fresh water in the sea they don't mix. If you can prove to me that this is what it's meant, I promise you. I will never go online again. I will never speak against Islam again. I will apologize from you. And I will shave my 20-foot beard. Who is the hero he want to do, accomplish all this victory altogether? That's it. Christian Prince is going to be gone. Who is going to call me right now? Brother? Who want to destroy Christian? I just promise you, I will never go online. I will never attack Islam. I will shave my twenty-foot beard, which is something. I mean, the only reasons women they like me because I have a long beard. What I will do without my beard? I will lose my knowledge. Guys, you should you should, you should see yesterday. I don't know if the if the if the brother who invited me to uh, to Texas he is he's with you, but after we finished the seminar, not yesterday actually the day before. Uh, yesterday all of it it was just a traveling. Uh, after we finished the seminar, I'm not done. I mean questions was coming like rain, and they did not even want to go. We had to go because we have. Uh, uh, you know a lady with us and she have uh, she have to go so that because he have to drop her in our way so They were astonished with the stupidity of Islam This is what happened when you invite me to your church You see those people they do not know me they said let us invite him once and see what will happen and after I finish everyone come to me ask me when you come coming come again I came down from the stage the church is over the service is over every single person came and says when you are coming and they, they said to me you will be back I assure you I said I don't know when when you when they, if they invite me I will be back and they said to me you will be back no way you will be back they love it always I have successful trip the only the only thing is not successful by mistake the the company they reserve for me the ticket to come back in March Fifth, <laughs> when it should be November fifth, so I have to buy a new ticket, which is really expensive. This is the only bad thing happening in this trip. <clears throat> I came back. I'm not going anywhere. Do we have any Muslim here who want to show us that this is what the verse is saying that the two C's don't mix? Guys, how about we get them busted? Should we? Brother, shall we get them busted or not? Hmm? No. Actually, here is not a scientific miracle. Here is the stupidity of Muhammad, the author of the Quran. What Muhammad he claimed that there is two seas of water. One is a fresh and one is salty. Muhammad is trying to understand how in the world that in the land, if we dig in the ground, we find a fresh water. And how the sea is salty. So Muhammad he claimed that they never met. <laughs> yeah, because he thinks there's a sea. You see, because they dig and you know, you know, when when an Arabian man, a Bedouin man, he dig in the ground and mostly he find water, they think there is a sea under the ground. All right. So what the Quran is saying, 
the stupid out of the Quran claiming that there is two seas one is a fresh water and one is salty and they never mix but all of us we knew if a river go in the ocean it's going to mix you know you can try it right now we do not need even ocean go get a one cup of let us say uh, five gallons of uh, 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 salty water and five gallons of uh, fresh water and throw them together in one container they mix that's a lie who said they don't mix if we speak about a current of river is going to mix but because always there's more fresh water is coming you think it's not not mixing there's a fresh water there because they have different concentration and they have different more water coming so why you think they are not mixing but they are mixing every second if we cut the river the fresh water will disappear no more fresh water and this is not what even the quran is saying the quran claim that those waters are two kind of water separated by land you see if we go to ibn kathir let us go to ibn kathir shall, shall we go to ibn kathir shall we go to ibn kathir muslims which is the interpretation you like me to read brother I will give you option, brother. You want Zakir Naik, brother, or you want the his his holiness Zakir Naik, or you want Naamat uh, Allah Mumtaz. Check Naamat Allah Mumtaz. The guy yesterday they remind me about him. You remember, guys, the, the Pakistani guy Naamat Allah Mumtaz. Naamat Allah Mumtaz. He wanted to be famous, so he said, "I want to debate uh, Sam Samoon. I want to debate David Wood." I will debate the Christian prince, and that will make me famous. But by mistake, he debated me. And then after I debated him, he claimed he he, he filed a claim to YouTube to down to take down his debate. He thought he can use it posted on his website. The only debate he have is with Sam Shamoon. The reason is, you see, for sure, Sam Sam Shamoon can can you know uh, he he have no place. You know, Sam Shamoon can eat him alive, but. When you have a debate, it's five minutes for you, five minutes for me. I mean, everybody sing his song and nobody, even, there's no debate in the debate, you know? But when this guy, he made such a mistake and come to me, he destroyed his career. The same as what happened to Dr. Rohi. Dr. Rohi, if you see the, the, the comment about his debate with me, the Muslims claim that this guy, no way, is a scholar. He don't have a PhD. He's not even a Muslim. They are accusing him that maybe he's a Hindu. Now, who is the Muslim want to call me and prove to me that this is what the Quran is saying? Either you accept that you Muslims are lying about this, or I'm going to get you busted anyway. Who want to do it? Hello? Hello? Chapter 5, verse number 19 and 20. Let us go to Ibn Kathir one by one. We will go then 25, 53. Those are the two verses speaking about the same topic. So 55, 19, and 20, and customers come first. Let us go. This is Ibn Kathir, chapter 55, verse number 19. Takbir. <clears throat> and by the way, there is a mistake in the same verses and the same chapter because your God is an idiot. Your God, he thinks that there is two east and two west. Anyone knows why? Anyone knows why? Actually, it's in front of you already. The Quran says Allah is the Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west. The stupid Muhammad, because he thought that there is different east, different sun between the winter. And the summer, what happened? Because simply the Arab they noticed before Muhammad for sure that the sun in the winter is not the same as the as the 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 sun in the summer. The location I'm talking about the location. So the stupid Muhammad he said that Allah is the Lord of the two east and the Lord of the two west. They noticed that the sun set in different direction, like where I live. In the in the summertime, the summer the sun does not go from my window because almost it is ninety degree. But in winter time, it's almost 45 degree. So what Muhammad, he thought that this is two suns and they are two east and two west. So he is the Lord of the two west and the two east, brother, Allahu Akbar. And then Muhammad, his God, he said, I swear 
I swear, I swear by the point of the sunrise and the sunset. What? Allah, he swear by the point of the sunset. Where is that located? Muslims, Allah swear by the point of the sunset and the sun way, sun in the east and the sun. What is that? I mean, I mean, the sun. Allah swear by the points of the sunrise and the sunset and in the east and the west. Where is that? Hello? Hello? Hello, 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 Beirut, min fadlak ya inayi, tadadadadadam, atini Beirut, dakhlak al khat shway. Guys, do you like my singing? I'm thinking to quick to quit quick my career and uh, <clears throat> to work as a singer in the mosque I go to Pakistan I start singing to me in Arabic hmm? and whatever I say to them they will think it's Quran who understand anyway nobody any Abdul let us continue let us continue hmm. let us go where it says here okay then which is a blessing of your Lord you deny Allah created two different type of water Allah said who said Allah he has Maraja the two seas or let them lose according to Ibn Abbas okay Yaltaqiyan meeting together Ibn Ziyad said he prevent them from meeting by dividing a barrier he placed between them to separate them okay what is that he continues saying the two seas are the fresh and the salty water uh, the former uh, the former coming from running river we discussed this topic in Surat al furqan which we will go to later so we can see what it is now we have to go to Surat al furqan but hold on before we go there he said and it is he who has let free the two seas. One is a platable and sweet, and the other one is salty and bitter. He set a barrier. There's a barrier. There's what? A barrier, which means they will never mix, mix, mix together. And complete partition between them. Complete partition. Chapter 25, verse number 33. All right? Let us continue. Between them a barrier which none of them can transgress. None of them can transgress. Never. Meaning, he placed a barrier of land. Do you see it, guys? People, do you see the word land? Is the word land clear? Tell me, please, if you can, if you can read the text. So they lie to you, they say to you, the two waters, they mix, but they don't, they, they, they meet, but they don't mix. The Quran doesn't say that. The Quran says that there is a barrier between them. And they will never meet together. And that is not a science. This is a stupid teaching. Because Muhammad, he think that the fresh water and the salty water never ever met. And Allah, he placed a land between them. But in fact, the salty water is the source of the fresh water because at the end of the day it is the ocean water which is going to be steamed and going up as a cloud and then the wind will push it away and then we will have rain so do you see how they make what is a mistake they make it as a science you know guys isn't it clear all what they say to you about scientific miracle there it turned to be a lie nothing truthful there <laughs> zero it turned to be a big joke it is the opposite the stupid muhammad claiming that his god told him that the fresh water and the salty water never mix Mm. Any Abdul? Next lie. Who is the Muslim wanna call me and give me the next lie? 
by the way I want from those please who make videos to download this video right away and cut it pieces and you can make a topic like here we go we spoke about this topic make a short video about this you know cut this video this part and post it so people can see like you name this video uh, does really the the two water of the sea mixed together for all America you know <coughs> hello <coughs> hello CP hey my friend how are you yes I'm CP yeah, I'm fine are you all right I'm okay I'm just trying to uh, break the bra barrier between this the two seas now you see I'm busy <laughs> I don't think you're gonna be able to do that <laughs> Uh, just a quick call, CP. Uh, just informing you. Uh, I don't know if you know. Uh, Mohammed Hijab is debating David Wood tomorrow, I believe. Okay. Have you heard about that? Well, I've been trying to uh, it is, this, is, this is, will not be a debate. It's not a debate. You see, any debate have a format of five minutes for this guy and format for five minutes for this guy. It's not a debate. It's a joke. That's right. I mean, they're so quick to same, debate. Same this time. Is, same time. <clears throat> you know, yeah. what kind of a debate? We set a topic in advance. If, if both of them they are knowledgeable about what they are talking about they should not have a topic question from you question from me debate between two about a topic which is in advance is a debate of people who do not know which means give me the question before we go because I do not know how to answer you if I if you get me into surprise yeah you know what I mean like yesterday yeah, totally yesterday I yesterday I, I went to do the the seminar you know yeah, they told me what is uh, do you prepare? I don't have prepared. I said people, people ask me Whatever yeah. people ask me I never and guys I don't have a topic honest to God. I don't have a topic I start saying who of you believe that uh, the God of Islam is the same as the God of Abraham and Please ask me the questions and the people they start asking me that the whole seminar is answering the questions of everybody Whatever the question the answer is there so mm. people who do not know is those who choose a topic and People who don't, he's not, he's not, you know, he's, they are afraid. They are afraid from asking an expected question. They want to set up debate. And then what they do, they print 1,000, you know, a uh, 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 quote from the internet. They put it in Microsoft Word. They open their computer. And then, okay, we know what the topic is going to be, the Trinity. So the Abdul, he read blah, 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 blah. Then the other Christian, he said, blah, 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 blah. And then people they start yawning, and because simply is repeat for the same previous thing. There's no real debate. Yeah, I know, I know, CP. You're absolutely right. I mean, I've been trying to get hijab to debate you. Actually, I've he will never do so. Him. He will never do so. This He's such a coward. Before this is why he wanted to debate uh, David Wood because David Wood is going to run his computer in front of him, and he will read for him what he wrote two weeks before. And <laughs> I, I saw the debate between David Wood and Shabir yeah. Ali. <laughs> yeah. You know, both of them they are reading what previously is said. I mean, why you wanna why you wanna debate? We just post in the internet the article yeah. you wrote already before the debate two weeks ago, and let us read it. There's no debate. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like David Wood. You know, he's. I'm not saying uh, I don't good like. No, no, I'm not saying I don't like. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh, talking, I'm not talking about the person. I'm talking about the format sure. of the debate. This no, is not I mean, a debate. the reason I ran was to you know inform everybody. I mean, look how quick these Muslims are to debate somebody like David Wood but yet you have been begging them to debate you and they don't dare come anywhere near you so there's a deep double standard and hypocrisy see mm -hmm. my line is open and the yeah. Muslim he is free to say whatever he want to me that's right you know, you know and I the day by day I find out what cowards they are you know they go to speakers corner they if I am the same as Muhammad hijab I will say mm -hmm. you can ask me only about this <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you know, but here That's we go. True. I am live. Call me, call me, say whatever you want to me. Actually, isn't it me? Just three days ago, I said, if you remember, who is a Muslim when I call me to ask me to ask him the question he liked me to ask him? Yes, I, I heard that. Uh, this is what I say to them <laughs> call me, oh. Muslims, call me right now and ask me to ask you the question you can do best with it. Yeah, I think you frighten them too much, CP. <laughs> to be honest with you, I don't know what uh, we're gonna have to use magic to get some Muslims to come and debate you. But uh, they're really uh, something's wrong uh, because they jump towards debating somebody like David Wood, but they will not come anywhere near you. 
so there's something wrong, you know. Number one the, reason that debate debate uh, American. You remember the guy, the Filipino guy, he said to me, I debated a real American. You're yeah, an American, yeah, you know? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so they debate American because this is what he did that, you know, he debated only one time an Arab person. It was the last time he did it. He debated yes. Alicia Roosh because he was busted in the in the debate. He never showed up for the second debate. They agree for two debates. Yeah, that's so right. He showed right. up in one debate, and the second debate he ran away. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. And Anisha Roosh is not like an amazing figure of debater. You know, I mean, he's not used to debate. Actually, this guy is just a minister in church. He's not a debater. You know, but that's even right. that was a horrible news for the Muslims, and they did run away. So that's they knew right. exactly their limit. Absolutely. Uh, CP, just while I'm online, just wanted to quickly ask you, uh, you know, the very first uh, verse that was revealed to Muhammad, yeah. Ikra, you know, I was just pondering over that, and I was looking that it says, Ikra, you know, read in the name of your Lord. But, you know, you look at the tafsir, you look at the hadith, and nowhere does it say that, why didn't Muhammad ask, you know, read in whose name? You know, it just says, read in the name of your Lord. But Muhammad should really have asked which Lord or who. You know, there's nothing there, really. It's empty. Uh, do, do you get my point, what I'm trying to say? Yeah, you know, Muhammad. Yeah. Um, you see, uh, you remember there's a story in the Bible about Jacob was wrestling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will notice that this is the same, almost same story, Muhammad trying to copy it. Uh -huh. So Muhammad, he been squeezed. He, this is the wrestling he's talking yes. about, okay? Yeah. And Muhammad, he been forced, and he pass. What is missing in the story that Muhammad he did not claim that he is Israel. <laughs> 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 At the same time, you see, always you have to compare between Muhammad. Obviously, is trying to play the game that the same happened to Jacob, happened to me, <laughs> but the story is stupid because. How he said to him, read. Yeah. When he did not give him anything to read. That's right. It's so strange that, isn't it? He, and not only strange, just comes it's to stupid. No, says, it's stupid. It's a stupid. In the name of your Lord. No. It's so but, stupid. Because... But, but Muhammad, because he was trying to copy from the story of Jacob, yeah. he was trying to say, I am, you see the story here, Muslims the Muslims are ignorant in, in, uh, yeah. in, in, in finding out really what is the connection between the story and what what Muhammad is trying to say so if you uh, uh, if you go to the story uh, the angel he said to him read in Arabic he said to him ma ana biqari now there is one of two ways to to took this in Arabic you can say ma ana bifail which means i'm not going to do that or what yeah. i'm going to read yeah okay yes. what i'm going to read or i cannot read but obviously it's meant i'm re reading what what i will read all right yeah Exactly, that would be my reaction. And the, the other meaning it can be, Muhammad yeah. is saying, I am not learned about the word of God because the Quran confirmed that we as a Christian call the people of the book. Why? Is that because we, we know how to write, how to read? Yeah. No, because we have a book. Right? So the Quran confirmed that anyone who is called unlearned yeah. is the one who don't have a book. Yeah. Anyone he have a book is called the people of the book. If you go to chapter two, verse number seventy-eight, you will see the Quran saying, "Wamin hum ummiyun la yalamun al kitab illa amani." Okay. Yeah. Let us translate the Muslim translation, and from them, from them, ummiyun. The word is illiterate or unlearned is yeah. ummiyin. But ummiyin about what? And there is among them illiterate who know not the book. Yeah. Okay. So the Quran confirmed that the word illiterate is about not knowing the book, not about not knowing how to write, how to read. Yeah. And this is exactly what Muhammad trying to say. If we take it in this way, based on the Quran, I am not learned, which means I do not know. I, I'm not. I wasn't follower of uh, uh, Musa. I wasn't a follower of uh, Abraham. I was not follower of uh, Jesus. So I am not from the people of the book. Yeah, in different verse, the Quran says that Allah He sent to the Ummiyin, which means the illiterate, yeah, a one from one of them. But before there, in chapter 3, verse number 20, you will see the Quran 
saying it clearly that from them there is people of the book and people who they are unlearned. I learned about what I learned about the book. So mm -hmm. the unlearned always in the Quran is those who do not know the book and say to the people of the book and to those who they are unlearned. Do you see it? Or yes. literate? Okay. So the Quran insists again that if you have a book, you are called the people of the book. If you don't have, you are unlearned. I learned about what? Not about writing or reading. It's about yes. God. You know, the Muslims are ignorant. They could not recognize what the word mean because they are disconnect. They are disconnected with Islam. Islam is you no know, uh, uh, Quran collected hundreds of years after Muhammad, the same as the Hadith. And the Muslim until now do not even have a manuscript of the Quran, which means there is no original book or anything. Yeah, so they are unlearned for not knowing the book, not because they do not know how to read, how to write, and the same come you know confirm uh, uh, you know uh, uh, in chapter three verse number seventy five, uh, in chapter four verse number one thirty five, uh, 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 all over. It's about you know who is learned and who is not learned. So yeah. knowing, knowing. Uh, let, let us see if we go to the, this verse. Let me find you this verse here. <clears throat> Let us go here. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. Just while you're finding it, CP, you know what I meant to say was, you know, the Ikra should have been reading the name of Allah. Why, why didn't Gibrail come and say that to Muhammad? Reading the name of Allah. That, that would well, be all the story, all the story, you know, it's very, uh, at the same time, you know, uh, uh, when the angel, he said to him, read. I mean, yeah. if Muhammad, Muslim, they claim that Muhammad, he cannot know, he does not know how to read. That's mean the angel is stupid because what you say to him read, but the guy he got read anyway. Yeah, then, no, I understand. I mean, somebody comes to me and says this is a message to for, for you from CP. He should mention you by name. So he's just saying Lord. Lord just means anything. You know, it's not a specific. If you know what I mean. You see, the Lord instead of Lord, it should have been Allah. Then Muhammad would know, or we would know, centuries down the line that it was Allah speaking to him right from the beginning. But it just says, Lord, Lord can mean anything. That's what I'm trying let, to say. Let us say, let us say, uh, the Lord here mean Allah. Doesn't matter really. Okay. But but the question is, why yeah. Allah is saying to him, read in the, in the name of your Lord? Yeah, yeah. The Muslim, yes. they say to us, every word in the Quran is Allah speaking, not the angel. The angel is just delivering. So the one who said that verse is Allah. So how Allah is talking, but yet he say, read in the name of your Lord. Does it make yeah. sense? Uh, and how would Muhammad know that it's Allah speaking. Read carefully with me. Chapter 62, yeah. chapter 62, verse number two. It says, yes. It is him who sent. Yeah. It is he who sent. Who he who Allah. Okay. If if Allah is talking, how we say it is he. Okay, continue. Let it go. It is he who has sent amongst the illiterate and illiterate. Okay, and illiterate, a messenger from among themselves, which means he is illiterate too. So they are all unlearned. Unlearned about what? About God. <laughs> <laughs> is all the Arab not know how to write how to read so the, so how come Muhammad he was he having a scribe who write the Quran for him yeah Muhammad was sent to the illiterate yeah. and he was illiterate so all of them they can't read that's stupid to say that you know? is absolutely stupid yeah, yeah. but that, what it says here that Muhammad was a messenger was sent to the Arab who they have no previous messenger messenger but this is will completely contradict it later because the Muslim they say that yeah. Ishmael was he Ishmael and Abraham came to warn people of Mecca. Yeah, you know, and and actually, no uh, yeah, yeah, and actually uh, Muhammad he confirmed that in the Quran that he is the only one who came to be a warner for the Arab. But yeah, yet there he, he confirmed in the same book that it is you know uh, Ishmael he came and Abraham he came so he's a liar. Everything in the Quran proving Islam to be stupid. It is and contradicts itself. Here Muhammad, <laughs> Muhammad here is copying the Jews. The Jews they call anyone mm. who is not a Jew, a pagan. They call him uh, and learned and learned about what? The Gomai and learned about God. 
yeah. ignorant. So the, yeah. this is a statement from the Jews. So Muhammad is accepting what the Jews call him, that he is ignorant. You see, yeah. if a Muslim, the, the, I don't know if you heard the Muslim before, they're saying to you that Muhammad was a follower of Abraham before he became prophet. That's right. Okay. Yeah, they claim that. But is that true? Absolutely false. Because yeah. because uh, uh, because uh, uh, the Quran confirmed to us that Muhammad he never knows what faith is and what yeah. is belief. So how they say to us that he was a follower, he was a believer, he was etc. Uh, uh, of uh, of uh, of Abraham. If if the Quran says he 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 don't know what faith is, he have no idea even what faith is. So how he can be a follower of Abraham? So That's true. and we can we can find we can find many you know a, a proof for for that story that yes. this is absolutely a, a, a hocus. This is a lie. Muhammad was a, a pagan man before yeah. Islam, and he was a pagan after Islam. If yeah. we go if we go right now in the Quran, by the way, if any Muslim want to call, just say I want to talk to you. All right, and you we will give you the line. وَكَذَلِكَ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَيْكَ رُوحًا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا مَا كُنْتَ تَدْرِي مَا الْكِتَابُ وَلَا الْإِيمَانِ Read with me carefully. Chapter yes. 42, verse number 52. Not my translation, Abdul. This is your Islamic translation. All right? Yeah. Read. And thus have we, by our command, sent the inspiration to thee, though knowest not before what was revelation and what was faith. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, what yeah, was yeah. faith? Muhammad, he do not have any faith in the true God. He do not mm -hmm. have any knowledge about any revelation. You do not know. You see, it's not about you do not receive. You know not. <clears throat> so if I say to you, you know not what, what Jesus taught, obviously you never heard of Jesus teaching. Yeah. Or you did not re receive it or you did not learn it. So here it's confirmed two things. That Muhammad, he never know any revelation of any prophet before him. Yeah. In the same time, he do not even have any faith of the true God. That's correct. So how they lie to us and they say Muhammad was Abrahamic. That's true. It's just a concocted uh, story. They that, get the lineage from somewhere. Yes, this is a big fat lie. And this yeah. is what we do. Here we get them busted with the lies. Yeah. Muhammad was Abrahamic when the fact he had nothing to do with any Abrahamic teaching or any, uh, any prophet. Muhammad is a pagan man. Actually, uh, uh, if you go in the Quran, different verse, even the Quran says to Muhammad, supposedly, actually, some they say that this is the first verse Muhammad received. Uh, Allah, he asked him to go when 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 the angel came to him yeah. to clean himself and to, uh, to stay away from the, uh, the idols. Yeah. You know? Okay, How, why Allah is saying to him to stay away from the idol, not to worship the idols no more, if he is not worshiping the idols anyway? That's correct. If you go and to chapter 74, good. chapter 74, verse number 5, Allah speaking to Muhammad, okay? Verse 5, and, yeah. Yeah, and some actually, some they say that this is the first verse Allah he gave him, actually. Muslims are very confused about what is the first verse. Right. So, I don't know that. Yeah. So look what it says here. Uh, oh, thou warped up, okay, and arise and deliver the warning, and the Lord do thou magnify, and the garment keep it free from a stain. What stain? This is this is uh, you know. And then he says, mm -hmm. and all abomination shone. If you go into interpretation for this verse, you will say that this is about Allah saying to him, mm -hmm. clean yourself from. The pagan worship which you do and the ridges here it's a false mm -hmm. translation for the muslim when you translate ridges here speaking about the idols if you change the translation let us let's try to change the translator and you will see how the translation changed right away yeah okay absolutely and clean is the shown okay and increase blah 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 this guy is the same let us see the front translation shakir biktal let us see biktal uh, all of them they are the uh, false translation until now Mohsen Khan let us see maybe we can get uh... well congratulations CP. Uh -huh, look at this finally we got a true translation do you see it yeah 
what it says and keep away the ridges which is the idols you see in the previous translation they avoid speaking that Muhammad because why he is going to keep away from the, the idols if he is away already mm -hmm. if Muhammad is following Abraham why mm -hmm. Allah saying to him clean your clothes do ablution mm -hmm. and stay away from the idols which means before this is why he need to do ablution from now on because you used to be worshiping the idols and from now on you should not okay you know and actually there's many they claim that this is the first revelation Muhammad you receive not the one it says read right so there's controversy over the yeah. first revelation well, the Muslims well. are not really sure about what he first received because everybody have his own story and his own potato you know <laughs> yeah. yeah well hey CP thank you very much I don't want to take too much more of your time but I thought you know uh, yeah. that was something on my mind yeah. uh, to discuss with you and uh, I've learned a lot again once again from yourself and uh, Thank you very much for your friend. words of wisdom. Take care. God bless. Thank you, CP. Bye bye. All right. You see, uh, the reason I say, call me and say whatever you want, especially the Muslims, because we are ready for your questions. I do not need to go and search Google and blah, blah, blah. Oh, I am, it's embarrassing. I'm not ready for this question. Uh, you know, this is what you do, Muslims. You have no knowledge of anything. You have no knowledge of your religion. Remember, we are talking about your religion. We are challenging you to know your religion more than what we do. You don't. I mean, imagine how embarrassing it is that a Christian guy like me, he read to Muslims something, and they say to me always, we never heard this before. Hello? Hey, CP. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, should I just call you Christian Prince then? <laughs> Whatever you want. Uh, yeah, just like a Christian. So yeah, I was in the chat in the YouTube before, and then well, people have been talking. Um, by the way, I'm from Indonesia. How are you doing there? I'm glad Good? to speak to an Indonesian person. That's an honor for me. I love I love all those minority Christians <laughs> who live in Islamic countries. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. I mean, I'm Christian, by the way. Here, just want to know. Just want to ask you about this. So I have a problem with my girlfriend, that which is not uh, Muslim right now. Uh huh. And well, I've been convincing her to you become mean, a Christian uh, because you see, I mean, you, I've been you as a Christian. I don't know what you mean by girlfriend. Yeah. You as a Christian should not have a girlfriend. So what girlfriend mean? Oh, okay then. A friend, you mean? Well, it's my friend then. Oh, okay. So not <laughs> a friend of friend. me. Okay, no yeah. problem. Okay. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I mean, I, I really want to marry her. By the way, so the thing is, like, I try. I've been trying to convince her to become a Christian before we get married, really, in the future. But the thing is, like, I've been confessing her, even like re um, telling the Bible about the truth about who is the Jesus Christ, it, are is the truly savior of her and me. But she always, whenever I try to confess her about that, she always, you know, kept in silent, you know, she didn't even reply to me at all, but she just kept saying that I will never trust that, I will only trust Allah, that's she said to me. And because like she told me, she was born in the Muslim family and then she was, she's really afraid to turning up to become a Muslim, uh, to become a Christian. That's my problem. My friend, right my now. friend, let me tell you something. Yeah. I'm, I'm not going to waste your time. I believe okay. it's a very wrong mm. thing to do to marry someone is not oh, from okay. your belief. Mm. Because, first mm. of all, there's a big risk. Even if she said to you, I want to convert to Christianity because maybe she loves you. A person who converts to a belief just because she likes to be with the man in his bed is not converting, okay. is sacrificing okay. something for the sake of something. <coughs> So in the future, she might hate you. And she say, okay, I'm back as a Muslim. Then you will have children from her, and then she will teach her children that to join the Mujahideen and to join Al-Qaeda. <laughs> you don't want that. Okay. You don't want that misery in your in your family. The, the, the world is full of female and beautiful women. You know? Way, <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, this is true. I mean, why you want to marry, uh, you know, this is a big risk. Why do you want to do that yourself? Even if she became a Christian, because mm -hmm. you see, if she become a Christian before she met you, because she believed, mm -hmm. then you marry her. Why not? Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. but those who change their religion to have someone like you see, you some you might find an American, 
she mm -hmm. converted to Islam. She's not converting. She's a liar. She's just you want to this man. Oh. He asked her to do so, and she want to marry him. So mm -hmm. she is willing to change because she don't care. You know what? 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 Religion for her mean nothing anyway. She want to be in the bed with so, this man. So later, uh, two years after she just, she divorced this guy, then she meet another guy who's a Hindu. Then the Hindu mm -hmm. he said to her, convert to Hinduism because this is the right way. She convert to be Hindu. Really? No, they do. Okay. You know they don't care. They don't have religion. <laughs> I mean, what? All what, oh, what she wants, she wants to have this man in the bed. Whatever it's going to take, it's going to take. There is a there is a, a singer, you know. Uh, I I saw her in the news. Uh, uh, she she was she she each time she changed she convert to a new religion to change her name, and the last religion she changed to it it was Islam, and she changed her name. So, you know, they, they are, they, there's a lot of stupid people around. They are looking for fame. They are looking for uh, uh, to be famous, or they are looking just for a man in the bed. So why you want to mm. risk your life and your future and your children? Think about. Don't be selfish. The first thing you should think about is your children. They will suffer a lot. Okay. You know, mm. you sit in one table mm. with the women, and then you say, I, "I want to pray in the name of Jesus," and she said to you, "I want to pray in the name of Allah." What do you want to do? <laughs> well, I will still keep believing in Jesus because He's the only Savior for me. Well, I've been I've been living in really really deep shit before man like you know jesus save always saved my life before i used to study abroad and then like i used to become atheist i was born in christian and then like when i, I was studying in japan i turned myself to become an atheist at that time i i don't i did i did a lot of really really bad things about christianity and then like suddenly i don't know his bless is still with me and he pulled me up and then turns up i i following him again and then I don't know, like I I don't know why I met her in I'm here in Bali right now. Where I was I didn't even want a a, a girlfriend, but somehow I met her and then we are talking and then like My I friend, don't know. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna go uh, in your private life. The, the, you, okay, okay, me, yeah, all right. For me, Sorry, I'm not then. against anyone to speak with women to etc. But if you if you uh -huh. wanna go and sleep around, uh -huh. this is not Christian. This is not Christian behavior. Muslims okay. are allowed to have a girlfriend, by the way. The Muslim, they say to you, in Islam, we don't have a girlfriend. That's a lie. Even a Muslim, he can he can have sex with her without even marriage. They call it agreement of sex, muta. You know? Yeah. It's a pre I know, I know it. preset dated mm. sexual uh, uh, contract. Uh, there's mm. many kind of marriage. They call it even traveling. Like now we are traveling in different country. Muslims, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see that the Muslims, they do that. So if I'm a student going to Los Angeles tomorrow, and I am from Saudi Arabia, and then the Muslim they say, okay, well, because he's going to be a student, so in order not to commit sin, he will study there for let's say he wanna do a course to speak English, to learn English for three months. So now he needs a mm -hmm. woman. So what we do, you are allowed to marry a woman for three months. That is adultery. That's this a girlfriend, this is not a marriage. So we yes. cannot do that. Same time, mm -hmm. I will leave a decision for you. What I can say mm -hmm. is that mm -hmm. marrying from someone have different faith is a big, big mistake. Okay. If if you can make her believe mm -hmm. and accept the Messiah, mm -hmm. and you feel and you believe that she really became a believer, which means you stay with her or not to stay with her, nothing will change. Mm. Then you can marry this woman. Otherwise, you are making a big mistake. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. No problem. Yeah, I mean. I don't know. Well, she always keep in silent whenever I talk about the Bible and Jesus. And when I mean, that's that's all that she do to me. So, well, obviously yeah. she is not going. Oh, you know, she she don't believe you. She's just being uh, polite, and she don't want to lose you mm -hmm. too. She want she like you. You know, obviously that's why she is with you. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, mm -hmm. uh, she like you as a man, but she don't like your idea as a Christian. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. But anyway, I advise you to let her come. And join our conversation. She can call. Yeah. Me. He can call me when she is there, and we can have a conversation with her. Why not? You know? Yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm, I was planning to do that, but yeah. Well, next time you on air again, I will definitely gonna call you again, man. Thank You're you welcome. very much for your explanation. Yeah. You're You're well, it's always, it's always better to have. Well, she's the one, the Muslim, but I, I, she understand a little bit English, but the thing is. Oh, okay. I hope she will understand whatever you're gonna say later if we have a conversation with the three but, of us but later. If you okay? want my advice, find someone from your culture, from your language, yes, but someone who have the same belief. 
a real believer not a not a christian by name because christian by name too is the same as a muslim not, mm. you know because a christian by name is just a christian by name anyway you know it's a it's a it's a fake uh, fake you know person so you you have a big country the christian in indonesia mm. they are not little tiny number they are not the only christian there there's many christians you can find mm. i'm sure you can find a good christian women who deserve to have mm -hmm. you and you deserve to have her you know yes yeah, yeah. you don't partner with those who are partnering with the enemy of christ mm. because the bible says whoever yeah. believe whoever deny the father and the son is an antichrist so this woman i'm not saying she's a bad woman i'm saying she yeah. believe in muhammad yeah, yeah. who is obviously an antichrist he is not the mm. antichrist himself maybe but he is an antichrist so mm. to believe in religion it is a belief of the antichrist who denied the father and the son is a sin mm. itself big sin against god and people mm. will not be saved so why you want to partner with someone like this can risk even your children who you will have them for sure in the future what if your children did not know Muslims, you know and I, I i i don't know i don't know right now still no, i no. don't know well no, thing is, friend, i don't know i don't friend, even know how i my friend you know I, your friend my friend I, you know you, you know you know what you know what will happen and i'm telling you what will happen don't do the mm -hmm. same mistake many people do you know that's a big mistake mm -hmm. you know maybe mm -hmm. she is very beautiful for you maybe you like how beautiful she is you know etc for but, but this is all have no value because the beauty mm -hmm. disappear after a few days from marriage what is a stain mm -hmm. is how much decent she is and how much she is you know sharing with you in her life what you share you see marriage mm -hmm. is about sharing the first mm. thing we share is we share believe otherwise what else we share we share a bed you do not need a wife to share a bed if you don't believe in God you can you can mm. sleep with anyone if you are an atheist you do not need a, a, a dish to share food you can share your food with anyone so what sharing what kind of sharing you would have in your life if if the most important thing in our life is mm. not exist how we can share life together mm. Imagine now I'm sitting here talking to you and then I have a wife. She is saying uh, she's an atheist. Let's say forget about Muslims hmm? I am talking to you about, about Jesus yeah. and she is uh, cursing Jesus. I mean how we can live together mm. You know that mm. would be the most stupid mistake ever I will do in my life oh, So you you've been in my position before no, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm saying imagine Nobody want to marry me, oh. man. Each time I ask, oh, okay. if I ask Indonesian or Chinese or Arabian or American, do you want to marry me? They say no. And I say why? They say why? There's no men left in this earth. You are lucky. You found a woman she <laughs> like you. I cannot find a woman she like me. The only one like me is Allah. What I can do? No. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, my friend, thank you very much for calling. And let us see if we can get yeah, any, thank you. any Muslim caller. Thank you for calling. God bless. Do we have any Abdul on a call? <clears throat> hmm? You know, this, this, this brother here, he have a wife and they are married for 13 wives and still he, he love her beauty. You see, you like her beauty because you, lo you love her. It's not the beauty who is making, you, make, making her beauty for you. Because, you know, we get older and we, our look change. Correct, guys? So obviously you still see her beautiful not because she is the beauty really I mean maybe she is beautiful I'm not saying that but if a person is the most beautiful person on earth as look but he make you hate him because of his behavior you will not see him beauty or her anymore the beauty will disappear but you are consistent with the way you see her as a beautiful after 13 years of marriage because you love her and you're still in love with her so it doesn't matter even if she looked like Christian Prince you will like her which is very horrible when person is in love even if he is loving a, a monkey he will not see the monkey a monkey you will see him a deer you will see him like a flower in his life don't they say love is blind so because you are in love she will be always pretty in your eyes even if she stand next to a woman she is 20 years old and she is 60 years old she will be the most beautiful woman in your life because you are in love with her and because 
obviously she is successful to keep your love that means she's very smart too because you see marriage is about intelligence it's not only about like, people they think it's okay we may we go and we get married marriage is a plan of intelligence because the marriage is the first step you do to accomplish something it's the first block in your house but you don't have the house yet but then the smart man and the smart woman is the one who try their best to increase that love not to keep it the way it used to be first day we met what people do they do the opposite first day we met I was crazy about you after two months I marry you and I'm still crazy about you after six months you are now my wife and then I ignore you so I go stay with my friends uh, he go play card he don't even call her she is like a piece of furniture in the house or she might do the, the same she go and she don't tell him where she's going she don't care you know so you know uh, uh, the smart people are the one who increase love they don't even stay where they are so she loves you and you love her you both work in direction to increase that love so you grow up together and the love will grow with you but usually people do the opposite this is why you see people getting divorced because they are like children looking for shopping you see a woman she is crazy to buy a purse and the purse cost her like six hundred dollars i mean this is crazy why you want to buy a, buy a but she's crazy about it. she want to buy it then she buy it she take it twice and then she put it in the closet and she never wear it again the same as a little boy who die and cry to get a toy the second he have it in his hand he play with it five minutes and he throw it away both male and female usually they do that after they have you they throw you because simply both of them they are not mature maturity is very important in any is not like a, a, a successful relationship in life so it is not just something you do because you like in the moment it is something you do because you plan to like it for the future people they think about the moment they don't think about the future for sure you don't have to agree with me everybody have his own idea but Christianity is based on love so is marriage this is why in Christianity you will see the man and the women they became one so you have to think about the unity not a partnership It is not a partnership it's a unity you both you became one and that's what make Christianity so beautiful for our marriage is not a sex contract it's not a sexual contract it's not a sexual relationship it's not a legal agreement so we can have babies and then we have tax cut marriage in Christianity is a life to live not a marriage to divorce Anyway, I hope today we cover many, many uh, 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 questions. Uh, I will try tomorrow to do live podcast again, and I hope people they they will uh, the Muslims some Muslims will call us. Um, I hope so. I don't know if they will call or not, but who care? You care? You don't care? We will get Allah busted. And this video which I posted today is going to stay there until the morning tomorrow. If you guys don't download it, you will not find it. Is that fair? So I will force those who did not download it to download it. I'm, I'm telling you, tomorrow morning I will take it off. Download the video, cut it pieces, post it around. Get them busted. Help me to spread the truth, and the truth will set you free. And there's no better name than his name. That is the Christ, the Messiah, the Lord, the Savior. Not Muhammad, the idiot, who claimed that the fresh water and the salty water don't mix because Allah, he put a wall between them. That is not from God. Not Muhammad the idiot who is God himself, himself said to him, stay away from the idols because he was an idol worshiper. And after he said to him, stay away from the idols, still he kiss a black stone. And he may kiss him black stone as part of his religion. Yet they claim that they are not pagans. Muhammad the pagan, he said in the hadith, 
that whoever touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner, which is the stones too, Allah will erase their sin. This is a pagan practice and this is a pagan religion. Islam is a religion based on stones, going around the stones, throwing stones, kissing stones. And yet they say to us, they are not worshipping idols. If this is not worshipping idols, who is the one worship idols then? Thank you very much, guys, for being here. May the Lord uh, answer the girl from Islam confession. I'm not sure what are you saying. Who is the girl? She can call me. I mean, well, I'm here for how many hours? Uh, what I should, what we should do now? Let me go back and text. See what the question. He was a Muslim, but now he is a Christian. I'm trying to understand what is the question going back in text. She is a Christian. You know, marrying, marrying a person who he say he is a Christian. It's risky. Take your time to examine how truthful he is. Let me tell you, and I will give you an advice. What about you say to him, I'm not going to marry you. Sorry. And let us see for how long he will stay as a Christian. Because might he might be acting like he's a Christian. Just to make you believe that he is worthy to marry. You know what I mean, guys? If I am a person who became a Christian, this lady, she marry me or not, I will stay Christian. So tell him I'm, I'm, I don't want to marry you. And stop talking to him. Even you know, I'm not going to talk to you. And let us see, let us watch, and see if he still will be Christian. Because if he is playing games, making you believe he's a Christian now, there's no reason for the game. He will not go to church. He will not pray. He will not speak as a Christian. And then that will expose him. Right? She may stay Christian. What do you mean she may stay Christian? She's talking about a guy. He is the Christian. He's, he's the one who claimed to be Christian. She's a girl. There's many, you know, in the Middle East, I saw Muslim men who wear a cross just to date Christian women to fool them. Are you getting the point? They are willing to do that. They do it. They have no shame. Her question was, her husband was a Muslim, but now Christian. And he has two wives. She wants to know, he do what, which, what? I mean, he is a Christian now. He have two wives. So how, how you can be Christian? You have two wives. She became a Christian. Her husband, oh, okay, I, I don't know. I, look, I'm getting the story from different people. Everybody telling me different story. So she became a Christian. Her husband is already married to a two women. Is he a Christian too? Is the man is a Christian? He, like he, he was a Muslim, he became a Christian? Okay, well, how he, how he became a Christian, he have two wives. You cannot have two wives as a Christian. You have to leave. You you have to get out of of, of that marriage. You cannot stay as a Christian. You have two wives. If he is having two wives and he stay with two wives, he is no Christian. You know what? What is the point of being Christian? But you have uh, multiple wives. This is this is against God teaching. You cannot do that. You know. If he is really a true Christian, he will not accept even to be married to two women for a second. Yeah. 
anyway you know i i cannot really tell you what to do i mean uh, you have your own story you need to think carefully uh you can ask some uh, christian ministers what they will say to you uh, they might say to you well because this has happened previously well you can keep your because you know it happened in the bible that's if somebody was married before to an unbeliever is not really is it's okay to stay with an unbeliever because you married before so because you both you were not a, a believer maybe i don't know for me i don't i don't think it's right to have two wives but maybe because you have a special situation you know in, in the old in, in the in, in the old days uh, uh, the bible speak about when somebody became a christian and he is married to non-christian because god don't like to destroy families so they, they, they allowed them to stay together so i advise you to ask more and to search more but for me i believe strongly that if i am a believer in god and i believe in the bible that marriage have to be only between one man and one woman then you have to explain to them what about the, the both of the wives became became uh, became christians both of the wives became a christian or one of them if one of them became a christian i think the answer is there you stay with the christian women and the, the other one, one you let her go and you support your kids still if they are even from that woman you have to be a good man who support your kids doesn't matter they are from who even if it's from an atheist or a muslim all right anyway i'm not the person who can tell you what to do i'm here to teach about islam i know the bible i i give you what i think but you might find better answer from my answer so forgive me please if i say something to you you don't like all right you don't have to i you know this is not a program for zakir naik who make a fatwa you know we are not the same as those people but i know that the Bible says for sure that those who are they used to be from different faith and then they became they have different rules about marriage this is why the marriage is not broken yet it's accepted but this only for those who used to be non-christians and then they became Christians but for sure having two wives will not work if one of the wives became a Christian and the other one she is not she stay as a Muslim then you stay with the Christian women all right Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, time to go. And I hope today uh, we did cover many of the topic, many parts of it. And nobody can fool you again with the scientific miracle of what is called mathematic of the Quran. It's a lie. It is a joke. May the Lord bless you. And I pray today that I hope that the Trump and the Republican, they will win the election in USA because we know that Democrats are in the bed with the devil. So I hope that they will not accomplish their mission. And I hope the Christian, they listen to the advice and they want out to vote. The problem is with us as a Christians, we depend too much on prayer, but the, but the Lord, the God, he taught us that prayer without work is useless. A tree who don't give a fruit it is a tree yes but it's going to cut and throw out in the fire so many people who are Christians they want to be the tree but they don't want to give a fruit in order to give a fruit you have to work for it fruit is an action you do prayer is word you say and fruit is very much needed because a Christian who have no fruits he is no Christian. It's not your fruit who will save you in the eyes of God, but it's your fruit in the same time will save you, for that is a proof that you are not hypocrite. A person who don't want to have a fruit is a false Christian. Hypocrite. He have nothing to do with Jesus. They claim that they pray. They say to him, Lord, Lord. And they think by saying Jesus, Jesus, they confirm their salvation. But the fact, you believe, you pray, you follow, that will make you Christian. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my Father, but the one who do his will. 
you cannot fool God by making a little prayer and say God save me you save yourself God save you if you do what he asked you to do faith faith is what will save you but the fruit of faith is a must faith have no fruits is false with this I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and until I see you tomorrow I hope if I can do tomorrow broadcast I will do until I see you again Christ is Lord and Islam is false and thank you for being with us for today take care bye bye